I guess that means we're on because the logo's not on. <laughs> but uh, on. it's the slam on the thing. It's Wednesday. <laughs> it's that kind of morning. Yeah. Uh, it is Wednesday, Collider Live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm tired, and that's my name today. Joined by the crew, Miss Roxy Stryer. How are you? Hey, Christian. I'm I, doing great. I like the. This is what I like about what you got going on today. The hair's coming back, right? So Granny will be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like the blonde that, is peeping through. But I like that the purple's still there because it goes with the shirt. I That's dig what it. Told I, me. I saw her this morning. I was like, yeah, I like how your hair matches your shirt. It works. It almost looks like the shirt blended into yeah. your hair, yeah. which is cool. Um, Speaking of purple, too, because yesterday we had uh, <laughs> David too. Das Malchin on the show, and I kept, he kept talking about the Joker. His pants and his shirt, he looked like business casual Joker. Yeah, yeah and, he kind of yeah. did. He right? was great, man. He was fans, awesome. Fans loved him. Yeah. You yeah, know who good. I uh, texted with about my purple to make sure we coordinated for our big return? Sean Biscuits. How'd you know? Because I know him. He's a really good dude. Yeah, really good. Sean and his brother Dave Biscuits. No, my main Thanks. man the over Ralph. there. Oh, Ralph, yeah. In the purple with me. Brett Sheridan, Beardless Brett. Beardless Brett. Hello, Beardless oh, Brett. Oh, man. So you decided... <laughs> Um, Wait, I thought you quit the show. I forgot to do my voice warm-ups oh, outside. I thought you I quit apologize. the show. You didn't quit the show? I w- I, I, no, this is my quitting episode. This oh, you're going to quit today. Anou- uh, you don't just quit. You yeah. come back and you make a big announcement about it. Yeah. You're, with the way that the headphones look, your head looks like a radish right now. It's pretty bad. Yeah. I, I got The haircut's a little too short, but that, and I hate my too. face, and I've got a double face. chin. So <laughs> You don't have a double chin. No, you don't. You got, you got a very no. defined jaw. Yeah. I only, it's a big face. Yeah, I saw the haircut looked good without the headphones. Just with the headphones, looks like a radish. I'd take them off, but... No, you need them. What is the radish? No, no. <laughs> you don't know what a radish, a radish? You know, no, I know a radish. what a radish What part thing. looks maybe like a, tur- a radish? Maybe a turnip. Huh. Turnip. You know, maybe a turnip. Isn't a turnip a radish? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. better. But what maybe you that's just did. maybe if I said turnip, she'd like say Like a rutabaga. Oh, yeah. Like Ruth Nega's rutabagas. That was the best. Yeah. That was the best. <laughs> um, and Mark Riley is here, who's. Hi. Yeah, who's mad at me. Because I, I wanted to print out of the movies because we're going to talk about some fall movies <laughs> a little later. We got, I'm mad at you. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm annoyed with you. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, everyone is. Um, <laughs> as well as last night, I'm sleeping. Uh, I was I was falling asleep. My wife had a rough night. The kid, so the baby decided she's just gonna be t- not doing it tonight. Not sleeping, guys. Why? Because fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand how, Good how like P, it, why is it that the kids don't sleep? I love to sleep. You don't, I, I know. You don't yeah. drug your kid like ever. Drug for like no. one night. No, like a bad I drill? always think about this when they put the little booze on your lips. You see that oh movie? Right? So my mom did do that little whiskey yeah, underneath. Little whiskey. The, yeah. Well, that. we had a friend that was putting vanilla, and she's like, "I give her vanilla in her milk, and it makes her sleep." We're like, "You it's know that's alcohol, alcohol <laughs> right?" <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. What have they been doing? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that it. that's the move. It's probably more healthy to get the sleep with a little booze. Do you know we'll why I know no vanilla has alcohol in it? Because there was an episode of Family Ties where Tom Hanks played the mom's brother. That was one of his first roles on him, and he was an alcoholic. Oh my and it didn't God. have it remember didn't this? have any alcohol oh, yeah. in the house, and he yeah. chugged the vanilla I in the house. That. Remember That's that right. episode? Yeah, vanilla actually it. tastes nasty like yeah. that. Yeah. It's great in pancakes. Show yeah. a little vanilla in your pancakes. Oh. Fantastic. So, so how you been doing, Brett? What's, yeah, what's going, going on? on? What's the latest and tired, greatest? Tired, tired. You are too. Yeah. 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 What? What's going on? We you just working we, a lot? had the changeover, uh, and it's one of these things where I, I'm the only person that can do certain things, and I got myself into. I'm like, hey, can you commit to this amount of time to do this? Right. Oh yeah, sure. And I'm dealing with artists, so everything is constantly. You'll rebuild things, and this will be hung up here, and then you have to put it over here, and so it was, you know. F- 14-hour days, 10-hour days. I did like 112 in 10 days and just exhausted. Done with it. Yeah. Yeah. But at least it was, you know, that people thought I quit. Yeah. Did you miss us? (laughs) Did I miss you? Not Not that you quit, that I bullied you out. Well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even joke about things. Roxy is a bully. Ah! Oh, no, you're out. You're um, out. I'm unprofessional. No, yeah. it. Yeah, it was good. It was, it's a good little. Uh, you know, it's nice. I get to make some money, and I. I, I it, I'm just at the point in my life where I do have to work. Work. Yeah. Um, I wish I could just do things for fun. Um, I wish I would have done more things like this when I had the time. Right. <laughs> so I wasn't in this position. No, but, I know. Uh, here yeah. we are. Right, here we are, and we are back. Um, and so is Brett. And Brett will be running around the office a little later with the, with the microphone. We're going to do some interviews because Frank is back yes. from Israel. We're going to make sure that we talk to him about that. I don't get that. him. Frank? Yeah. I love Frank so much. I what do you mean? You I, I, have, I don't, haven't figured it out yet. No one has. Yeah. He's an international spy. What's his, like... I understand, if you, Frank. Okay, no, if, you if we were that's in high school really. and there were different tables, like, what's his table that he sits at? The, he doesn't have the table. elite. He's an island. Yeah. He's Frank not, is an island. He sits by yeah. himself? He, um, no. I, no. I, the thing is with Frank is that 
when you first see him, he just kind of does this thing where he just kind of slinks off to the side, and he's like, oh, that guy's shy. But when you put a microphone on him, as we've seen on this show, or he's one of the most talented people I've ever worked with. Oh, man. He, yeah. He's so talented as far as an editor goes, too, but he's very creative. He's very funny. So is he is he into music? Like, what yes. are, what's oh, that, yeah. what are his hobbies? Blade. Some yeah. questions yeah. for you to ask. Yeah, Brad. well, he wrote the, when we did the Collider News, um, when we were back when it was, it was Mova, Sinead, um, Natasha, and Perry, and Riley. And they um, they did like this rap video, and Frank wrote and directed the whole, the whole thing. Oh, I That's saw awesome. yeah, that. Was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Really? And wants, yeah, and he wants to do. Um, he wanted to do a Jedi Council one a long time ago, but he's just so damn busy now. So why don't we do a Clyde Live one? Well, we'll talk to him when Brett. We'll ask Brett that, and we'll send Brett around. We'll put that sure. in my note. I do really yeah. like him, but I don't get him yet. Yeah, I think that's part of the. Still the, working on that's it. part of the, the charm. Yes, part of the charm is Frank. Does he do well with really... the ladies? He's an enigma. Um, He's got a girlfriend now. Does he? Yeah. Yes. And we, yeah. we can... She's, she's a sweetheart. Look, Brett, more stuff to ask him she's later on. I decided to get, to get my press I thing know. put in yeah. my... Oh, and here's another thing we got to blame. Thank <laughs> you. Frank yeah. has a girlfriend. We'll blame Brett for. So <laughs> as much as our idea for this um, last comic standing thing was going to go through with Brett and Roca. It, Brett's going out of town. Yeah. So he takes uh, for a while. So Not he's going to take himself out of the competition. But the good news is this. Unbeknownst to this person, we're actually going to do it in about 15 minutes. And it's going to be Roca will be going up, and the judges will be RB3, Beardo, and Makuga, because Roxy Shire will be competing against... Oh. You know, you know oh. it's not true. you got to do 10 minutes, three minutes, three yeah. minutes. You know it's not true. A tight true. three, three minutes. minutes. I, I've never in my life, I don't make me not the gullible person <laughs> in the room. I would literally three, no. vomit. The whole, the uh, whole bit's I, dead. What would I say? <laughs> you yeah, already right. have what a I, bit. You yeah, pitched bit, it to the, me. Try I, it. You think it could take three minutes? Yeah, just just. I was kidding, but if you really want to try it, we can have you go up against Robert. Oh, God, no. I was completely kidding. You might win. What if Brett tells me his bit, and then I do that bit? Do his bit? self Well, you self it. Yeah, yeah. You got, so my wife, really I don't know event. if that's going to work. <laughs> well, it's, it's 2018. I could swing well, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I thought about it so many times. Really? You just oh, my God. Bail? Yeah. But it's just like, you can't be a lesbian if you're not one, I've decided. Oh, like, you've decided. That's a whole plot line. Oh, yeah. You know what I love about... Year. No, wait. I want to go back to that. You know yeah, what I love yes, about that statement? Yes. You know, I love about that statement that you made? What? You made that statement, but you ended it with, I decided. I it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a blanket statement. <laughs> It was how you feel no, about I it. I wish more way. people would do that. Yes. I love the... That was... Thank you. And, and I, again, pause, I'm giving a lot of positive reinforcement <laughs> in my household now, too. And, and I just... I have to tell you, the fact that you said that, because you've thought about this. I thought about it a yeah. lot. Use your words, Roxy. Use your words. Use yeah. your words. That's my brother. So use your words. Kids. Don't... don't yeah. Get, w- relax on the emotions. Yes. Use your words. Yeah. yeah. I told you guys, I had sex with a woman once. When was that? A while ago. Oh. And I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it. No, because you can't like something you don't like. And that's that was the determining factor. Did, did you feel like, weird? I think that I so like as a concept, you could be into women. You're breathing real heavy into like, that mic. Oh, I just that wasn't him. That was they were they were doing sound effects. Oh no, uh, they that's that's Brett. Oh. You were creeping out. It made out. you uncomfortable? He was creeping out over there. No, no. <laughs> it's, there's two you gotta understand how hard it is to hold this mic. Listen, the struggle is real. Can I tell you? Either it's down here. Yeah. Well, or don't I'm, definitely don't do that. Like right doing like well, when you want to like talk, lift it to your mouth. When you hold it in your mouth, yeah. and you're going like. All right. But she, they were putting up sexy breathing sounds. Right, they were putting up sexy. Can I hear this sounds. freaking story, sorry, please? Sorry. Go. Stop with the sounds. I want to hear the story. No, well, it was when I was younger, and I decided like conceptually I could like women. So as a theoretically, yeah, theoretically, I get like I, they're. I think they're hot. Mm. I, I like their I personalities. Sure. Like I think the woman's body, a woman's body is beautiful. So I was yes. like, well, maybe, you know. So far, everything you're saying is fact. Right, but then like if you're just not into it, then you're not into it, also and so fact. it's not the same thing. Right. You gave it a shot. Yeah. yeah. He right. took a shot. Yeah, he I took gave a shot. shot. You said no it, thanks. It, no, no thanks. Did the person want to pursue a relationship? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It was so not like that. Casual. Yeah, very, very <laughs> casual, but like casually not my thing. Right. Was the person a, a lesbian or was the person? No. No. Just I both think, were just feeling it yes, out. Yes, like experimenting phase yeah, and All just right. no. It just no. It just yeah. uh, there was something missing, and it was a penis. And like, I, if you don't, and if you don't, if you know that, that, then you know what you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. the whole time you're thinking, like, I wish this was a penis, and you're not a lesbian. Right. Like that's probably a, a surefire yeah. way of For thinking sure. about it. Yeah, you figured but it I out think pretty that quick. in theory, I could be a good lesbian for other reasons, such as yeah, I'm very generous, okay. and like I I like to emotionally deep dive. But, well, that's and... relationship in general. No, no, because men like are different. I think. Uh, oh. Right. 
some. Here's whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Like, I knew that I, I couldn't be gay right. because I hate what my body looks like when I take off my clothes, yeah. let alone another man's right. body. Well, that was the difference. Do you thought I, about it, though? No, nah. I'm just saying, like, when you're talking about a girl, yeah. right? You're like, girls' bodies are beautiful. Yes, that's how what my eyes see. Well, that was the difference of what I used to, I mean, yeah. I was dating a girl at a point, and she's to, and we I were. You we, were? I was, and uh, not recently, uh, <laughs> years before my wife. <laughs> and I was leaving the this place, and she's it? like, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to masturbate to the thought of you. And in my head, I'm going, that's amazing. But I also started to think, if I would have said that to her, it's the end of the relationship. Yes, well, it's creepy. Um, because when you think about, when because when, a woman, I'm picturing her, she's. Home, the candles are lit. Yeah, Enya's playing in the background, oh, and yeah. then I picture myself behind uh, a dumpster uh, with Alice Cooper playing in the background. You know, like, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> and it just, it's like, it's like that's that's the difference is because it's just, it's just like there's beauty and then there's filth. And I'm men peeking filth. around the corner but of the then, dumpster. Yeah, right. get you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home and slap one out to you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. I've often thought that, be, that if being with the man, like if I was gay, I would like. That somebody else that thinks about sex as much as I do because I'm right. always dealing with well it's not I'm not in the mood or this is the it's right. got, the moons always right. have to be right with some and you women. want to just hump the couch yeah right. yeah and I think if you're both like that how do you get anything done yeah, like, yeah. You, you just it's constantly true. yeah do doing it. this do you think that gay guys have more sex than straight couples do. Yes. No, no, no. I think it depends on the couple. I yeah, I don't, yeah Jenna, I think it depends yes? on the couple. I, yes, I would think, absolutely. but I don't know for a fact. I won't say. Uh, you yeah, know, I think right. at first, like every couple, yeah, it's oh, yeah. like mayhem. And then as you know, as you spend more time, it's like we got to carve out time. One hundred percent. I had someone say to me once. If we were together, I would go down on you every day. I'm like, no, no you, you would wouldn't. not. You're Maybe wrong. for like the first week, yeah, and then wrong. it's over. Yes. Then you'd be like, you, it's like, no, I want to watch. <laughs> I want to watch The Crown. Yeah. Exactly. It's like you don't want anything to do. It, it's just the way it goes. It's like the the heat is there for a bit. Sure. And then it's like, no, I'm good. I just want to make the meatloaf and go to sleep. <laughs> you don't think it kind of comes in waves? Yeah, sure. It's a 100. But I'm saying for a guy, this was a promise of every day it's going to happen for as long as we're together. Somebody like, you were dating or somebody no, who was so trying to get was, you to break up with. No, 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 no. Flirty things like, that a girl said. It was just said a flirty yeah. thing. Yeah, it was a like conversation. In a, in a con- we were having a conversation and just kind of casually came up, and I'm like, and, I'm, and and I didn't say like, no, you wouldn't. I'm I'm just like, all right. And then my head had gone, yeah, right. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, where were you? This was this Eden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, come on. So anyway, that's where I suck from. Yeah, that's, yeah, and that's what she sounded like. Yeah, um, but anyway, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Hell of a gal. Yeah, I have to like with my wife. I have to pretend to not be interested in order to get her. Like because I'm so just like I'm, I'm fucking gaga for my wife from the minute I yeah, met her you, to this that's day. That's fact. And like, but I have to dial it back because I constantly. Think about her in that way. You know? Yeah, so, I mean, but just, that's that's a great. Thing. And I gotta be like, oh, how do I look in this? Uh, that's all right. But yeah. if you, so, if you do that, then she <laughs> wants you. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I have you to. Just, I have to. I'm telling you, their relationship is the best. Like her and his, him and his wife. It's. I'm telling yes. like, you, when you when you watch the two of them together, it's like the fact you went together what 12, 15 years, fourteen, fourteen years. married and uh, eighteen. Crazy. That's yeah. that's Damn. that makes me feel old. Uh, but I remember them when they first started. Dating. You've known him for 18 years? Yeah. Almost I've known 20. Him, I've known him longer than he's known his wife. Yeah. yeah. Um, and wow. So he was, it's definitely not Brett breathing. It's somebody in the back. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's somebody in the back. Now, um, I'm now yeah. I look like no, an ass. No, it wasn't I'm sorry, Brett. Brett. I, I need one of those little. Because every time I looked at you, I'd hear this like. <sighs> I'm, I'm yeah. hearing it too. Yeah, it's not Brett though. I was watching it. I was hearing it. Um, but anyway, so you, when I knew them, when they first started dating, he would say something. She'd look at him with these puppy dog eyes and laugh. And two weeks ago at my place, same exact thing. Yeah. And that's hard to do for, for 18 years, man. That's tough to do. A man has been tired of my puns since like the third <laughs> week. So my but wife. So is everybody. It, my, my wife still laughs at my jokes, but it's definitely. There's, I used to be able to like. Do, I would I would man. do one of these like, come on. The, yeah. And I would be able to get out of it. And now it's just like, fuck off and take the garbage out. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. So it's it, you get to that place. But, um, and it's funny because I actually. I met my wife doing stand up. And Roxy finally, because Roxy was asking me, like, uh, because we've gotten into this stand-up conversation for a long time, and we've shown clips. And I said, you know, after thoughts gets critiqued, yeah, we get critiqued. And I said, you know, that's fine. So we gave. So Roxy, you watched the whole thing last night, part yeah, one I did, and two. Yeah, one wow. and two. And well, it was only like fifteen minutes. Yeah, twenty minutes. It was yeah. a twenty-minute set, totally. But um, that girl that that did the masturbate thing, that oh, was yeah. she was at that show. Oh, and it was after that. 
the oh, intro, but anyway, that's another story. Um, <laughs> huh. Yeah, so it's all coming full circle here, Christian. Yeah. It's such a different you. Like yeah. watching you in um, grasping at straws, and then watching you in your stand up, and knowing you as a host for the last few years, you are three completely different people. And it was wild to watch that, uh, and it was really funny. I, I just I don't picture you that way. Yeah, that's how it was for. I mean that's well, you, that's you road dog me. Christian with, yeah. the, with the beanie and yeah you know, I just don't pick yeah. I don't picture you that way and you you're, you have so much movement in your act that I, it was so funny to see you because I just I you know me you as like an almost tired slouch yeah. <laughs> well and that's what I go through here like when Christian's kind of like well you really need to you know like trying to do bossy shit I'm like fuck you dude you know? <laughs> like I stumbled out of clubs with you you're not the right. boss of me <laughs> well, I, well that's the conversation I had to have with Riley you no know, Riley for like 17 years and I, I last yeah. night I started off a conversation with him like and I, I don't think of ever in the, in the history of us working together I'm like I gotta call you today as a boss and not your friend and he's and he's like what the fuck? So what are you talking about? And it was just like it's weird yes, working with your friends. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really weird. weird. And and the old phrase familiarity breeds contempt can be true sometimes. And a lot of time, yeah. I'm not talking about you guys specifically, but I'm just saying in office spaces yeah, sure, where sure. you are close with your boss, it, yeah, that can be really tough. It's tough because you got to be able to, you know, if I also have to make sure that if I have concerns, I got to be able to tell. And same thing goes for cops. Cops have been working with us now since like 2013. Is that right, cops? Yes, sir. 2013, Two, October. Yeah. See, oh th- shit! Oh, it's like five years now. Holy shit! Years. I'm out. I know. <laughs> 2013, and um, so it's just you know you work with people you're close with. It's it's, it's tough when you've got to say, and it also comes with with the job. Yeah, I mean it's it's also tough when you're working on something. You know, like John Rocco when he's working on something. What's he working on? Right now? <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's what he's doing. That's he's I know no, they were playing the other. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. That's Sorry, Beardo. Yeah, Beardo. Beardo just like fuck it. They want it. Doesn't matter the time. He's good or not. There you go. You fucking idiots. That's what. That's what Beardo's saying. Eat, eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beardo. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Um, Sydney and Makuga and you know Riley and, and uh, <laughs> just playing everything just, in the background. Just play. Just play your whole fucking menu. I don't shit. Um, anyway, let's move on. What do we, so yeah, good. But you enjoyed the set. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. it but was, not the it sex. It was very, very funny. Uh, I my I think my favorite part of it was the, oh yeah, when you're talking about when you know if somebody's gay or not. That that, from, that came from my from your brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's, I thought that was really funny. It's the same thing. Oh, it's, yeah. It was that stupid comment that Tim Hardaway made all those years. Oh, She's yeah. like, people aren't supposed to be gay. I'm like, yeah. Pete, there are a lot of people. You look at certain people, you go, right. yeah, well, that that girl's supposed to be gay. That oh, guy's man. supposed to be gay. You just see certain things that they're doing. One of my best friends from college, right? It's, it was weird. Like, two of my really good friends in college acted, tried to act straight the whole time in college. And then as soon as they graduated, men. men, as soon as they graduated, they came out of the closet. And yeah. they were like, so, they were like, you know, Makuga, I'm gay. And I'm like, no shit, right. man. Right, you were supposed you were to be. extremely handsome and never dated a girl all right. through college. Girls were throwing themselves at you and you guys were just like kind of hanging out by yourself. I knew, as soon as I knew you guys, you're right. not, and you're, it's not like a worry. There was a certain thing. I'm not that you running did. a religious cult. Right. Do you think there's ever going to be a time that gay people don't have to come out? Ever in life, um, yeah. it depends on where. I mean, just it depends on where. Yeah. You would hope so. In this I mean, here's some virtue signaling, area? but doesn't that suck that there's your friends had yeah. to do that? <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah. One I mean, of my certain... best friends came out to me, and I was like, of all the people you thought would like <laughs> not be comfortable with this, I've known you forever. Right. Yeah. What, what it, you weren't comfortable with me, that's got to kill somebody. Right. I just yeah. can't even imagine like having to. Uh, people talk about it all the time, but if I had to go to my parents and be like, you know, I'm straight, and like sit them down, it just yeah. would never happen. No, I know. And look, and and I'll say this too: it's like my, it it really depends on where you live. Yeah, I was when I lived in Tallahassee, Florida, right? And this is in the '90s. People were not very the understanding uh, of it. It wasn't it, the I way. I grew up in Pittsburgh, and I know, and it's, it's and you, even New York growing yeah. up too. What, is, and what like, does that mean? Pittsburgh is a, I mean, Pennsylvania is a very red state. Yeah. Except just, for the city parts, which is very blue. But even understanding, look, for also from, and in media and in it's mainstream in general, it's been, a, it's a lot more accepting nowadays than it was 20 years ago. And, and, and people are a lot more educated. And, and I think that, and accepting in certain parts of the world. And it was, but I just, I, there were a lot of things that I was ignorant about and I was naive about and I didn't um, I didn't really understand. And when I came out of leaving when I lived started living here in ninety nine, I really started to met a lot of new people, understood a lot more. Um, 
and um, and really started to I don't know you got the, you get what do you have today what do you what are you picking apart oh wow. you got a spinner yeah, yeah, yeah. who gave you the spinner it's Beardo. fucking amazing yeah. I've never played with one of these and you go back and forth Beardo yeah. gave you the spinner it, it goes <laughs> faster that's a good one that's yeah, a easy it's, upspinner it's like Beardo gave you the spinner really, yeah. how'd you know well, that Beardo it's just, no that I was doing something you're because you're <laughs> flicking your hands oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, I but that's so no not even close I think it also there are four kids that that was what they were originally yeah. Yeah, for yeah, like Josh. kids that have uh, Me. ADD or but I mean to wrap a lot of it boils down I don't want to get, but a lot of it boils down to religion because yeah. a lot of religions and people believe extremely was, into their religion. It was very religious in Tallahassee. Yeah. Sure. Really? Gay is wrong. And when you when you it's live people by a Bible and you live by a certain code and you think those words are scripture and that is mm-hmm. everything, that gay is wrong, you it is well, well it's the same listen, it's the same thing when you're it depends on I'm just looking at it as a parent, right? How you're teaching your kids certain things and the things that they're learning. For perfect example is this. Peter Pan, the 1950 whatever version, right. has the most racist scene ever, and it's why is the red man red? Mm-hmm. Right, is was why the scene, and it's and it's based, and I'm listening, and, and it has white people doing the voices of of the. Indians. I know exactly what you're talking. About. It is, and I, I, I you was, had forgotten. I had forgotten my, my and my daughter loves this movie, and she's watching it, and I'm like, yeah. like and I don't like to use the word, but I was cringing watching this, right? <laughs> and then she was out in the yard. Why don't you like the word cringing? I hate. I think people overuse it. Okay. I think overuse, but but she was out in the yard and she was doing. She, but the good news is she's like, look, I'm a Native American. She didn't say, in, you know, she right. was like, I'm a Native American, and, and which is wrong. And she's Native American. Yeah. What it? Uh, what it? It's indigenous peoples. Yeah. Because well, you're putting American on. Oh, the, believe oh, me, right, I, I, I work in a very PC. Okay. okay. No, but, that's but, true. That's... All right, fine. But I mean, it's still better that's than true. saying the red face. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. And, and and so she and she's doing and she's doing like this dance and, and stuff too. And I'm like, man. And she's doing a Peter Pan play now. And they've changed the words to "Why is the brave man brave?" And I and she was asking because I told her the day before. I was because like, she was singing that song, the red. Why is the red man red? And I go. And I told her to have the conversation with her. You know, this is in the fifties when this movie was made. It was it was very it was very different. Then I had this whole conversation. Do you label racist? Not yet, not yet. I don't want her to know. like. I had I just I just I said it's wrong to kind of label people that particular way, and she got it and she understood. And the next day it was perfect because the the play had changed the, the wording. But my point is with all that is, well, have you ever seen Holiday Inn? What? You know the movie Holiday Inn. With, the, the, like the where White Christmas came from that movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a scene where they do an entire play in blackface. Right, and that, but and again from the time and the way and the, like right. that, and that's the perfect yeah. point too. Yeah. There are people that were that were living in that time yeah. that if you pluck them into today, right, and you just taught them that that shit is not acceptable. Mm-hmm. There's some people that are going to learn that pretty quick. Like all right, move on on and and and. It's the way it's like it's just how we are as a society when everyone's like that's okay to do yeah. right. then everybody does it. I didn't see anything wrong with it. He called him a red face, and that's what that's just everybody is. Ah, you're taking it too. You, you know, you, you're being too sensitive about it. But when you realize what comes behind it, and you and you also have to understand that when you're t- it's it's what's taught in general when you're young. And I'm t- like, there's so much hatred is is taught. And it, it, you're not born with it, right? You, Has your daughter ever said the word hate to you guys? Yeah, we actually kind of taught her that it was not necessarily a bad word, but she uses she just says the H word now. She says H. Oh. She was like it's the H word because like huh. I because I wanted to make sure that hate and kill are not things that are in her vocabulary. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I grew up with kind of the opposite problem. I grew up in a in a very 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 liberal city, uh, and I didn't know a single Republican growing up. Mm. So I grew up with a transgender teacher. I grew up with oh, wow. two gay principals. I grew up with fifteen gay teachers. I grew up with people who were coming out at the age of seven. Every that just was the way that I grew up, and it actually kind of ended up biting me in the ass because when I came out to L.A., which is a actually pretty liberal place as well, but yeah. not compared to where I grew up, I lived with one of my closest friends was a gay guy, and I underplayed anything that he had ever gone through because I didn't even realize that. I figured it was just, yeah. Whatever. That it had, yeah. That I had read all these stories of things, but I was like, ah, does that stuff really happen? Right. Because it just was ignorant so, to it. Yeah. I was so ignorant to right. it because in my hometown that was Well, that's my point. Not so, the case. so it was just, it was just, so it was the opposite side of like, so where you lived, I lived, and then you just, you've got to make the decision in general as a person, like what you, how you want, because. I'm not going to get into a religion thing because I think religion is really good as much as I think that there's some bad things to it. I think there's a lot of good to come out of it too. It's just, I, and I don't ever shit on anyone's beliefs. Um, but I think there's, there's, and I know a lot of religious people who are 
completely okay with with mm -hmm. gay lifestyle. And I know that there are others who I respect a lot that are not okay with it because the Bible and everything too. And right. who's to say, as far as what somebody believes, who's to say what they believe in is right or wrong? I think that's. I feel like I am. I don't think you can say that though. I think. I, I, don't I, think, know. I, think, I think believing look, that, that being gay is wrong. wrong. No, 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 yeah, no. That's the, exactly. The, let me, let me, let me retract. What I'm saying is your beliefs and religion. That's what I'm talking about as far as not, not. But the, if your the Bible beliefs and religion are, are infringing on somebody else's lifestyle choice, then I do think it's wrong. It is okay to believe in it. But it is, I think that you can believe in as, as far as religion goes. I think that it is if you believe in the Bible, but you are not spewing off hatred. And if you, if you, th and and let's say your kid becomes and you believe that right and your kid is gay and you turn your back on your kid wrong yeah okay but if you still if you believe in inside that you don't think if you, you don't think that that's what god wants you're okay to believe it i don't think so i think it's you're okay to believe it however i don't think that you should turn your back on your children i don't think you should spew hate what if it's not your children Somebody you, else same thing. Them. You sh you should still be civil to those people. Yeah. You should still be uh, you should still be loving towards those people. But I think that if you want to, you can believe whatever the hell you want to believe that aliens run the world. You can believe it, but you have to show. I, I same I thing. I think those are two different things. It's well, aliens running the world and somebody what, being gay. No, but what I'm saying is in general, it's like you can believe whatever you. It's it's a matter of how you handle it's your the beliefs. Acting on it. Yes. If you're not acting on, I mean, the problem with with you know, it's like you you're you can't pick in religion you're not you're you're not supposed to go well i can believe i'll believe in love thy neighbor i'll believe in this one but i won't believe in that the homosexuals so they're taught right. a certain way so it's but it's the yes maybe i don't necessarily agree i like that this i don't agree with homosexuality but i'm not going to push my belief on exactly. you exactly they're allowed Let, to not believe let's take the simplified version it, of as that as they're not acting out on uh, it. let's take the simplified allowed is uh i i disagree with that okay. i disagree well, let's just, i'm with roxy on that one all right let's just take the simplified version of it to where same with with less jedi yeah right you hate the last jedi you hate the last jedi right here's why i don't like it I don't like because this is well. I love the Last Jedi. Yeah. Why do you love it? Because this is okay. Great. We have our I beliefs. I wish we had Alice's so what, what twelve. You're, what you're saying, what you're saying though, is that these people should just be believe that they should believe, but they shouldn't believe anything that they're taught in that's religion. That's not what I'm saying. That's my point. Is that they can believe what they're, oh, that wasn't what they're taught. Your point. It is my point. What I'm saying, I'm just telling you what my point is. My point is that they are taught a certain thing. They can believe in it. They just can't. They don't spew hatred. Is, is exactly. really what I would like to. to change the way people think, not the way people act. Because yeah. if you change how people think, then it's going to change how they act. So it's me, them. it's not the problem what they're doing, so it's hard, how they're though. thinking. That is so hard mm -hmm. to do. It but is, a, it is but hard. here's the thing is that if they're taught a system of beliefs that is wrong, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, I mean, y yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Some... Like, you're, you're, you, you, by, by, Promulgating that right. reason of thought, I do you think are it's just wrong. keeping it going, thinking that it's wrong. Right. Okay. I see what you're saying. As far as like, look again, when it comes down to, do I think that Catholicism and everything else should should say the gay lifestyle is wrong? No, I do not think that they should say that. I think they should say the exact opposite, and that's what you're. That's essentially what you're saying. What yeah. I'm saying is, it's the same thing as like when you're. They should be. There should be education. I think that I, I just don't want to tell somebody right away if they're believing in a religion you're wrong for thinking that unless it's just there's a lot of, there's a lot of hatred that i think that people spew out and then there's a lot of people who have love that try to get educated on things too because there are a lot of good people out there who believe in a certain thing then their kids let's say their kids come out right and then they educate themselves they learn like maybe they don't agree with it but they educate themselves to it. They become part of it. They under they, are, they become part of their kids' lifestyle. They 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 learn more about it because love has been introduced to it in a way that they didn't know that it was going to be. Does that make sense? Well, what you're saying? talking about is dealing with ignorant people kindly, and that is a more beneficial way, I think, ultimately to get to your goal. Right. So I, I think that it's a smart way when you when you don't just shame people for their right. beliefs, you try to teach them. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I can sit here and say. It's okay whatever you believe because I don't think no, it's okay. No, and, I, and, I, yeah, and I, that, I think you're throwing that a little more broad than what we're trying. Yes. to Yeah, like oh, it's okay that you. No, don't no, no. Like I'm not. I'm not people, saying that's not what I'm saying know. at all. I'm not saying for someone to be like you know, gay people are wrong. Yeah. I don't like them because I'm not supposed to. Yeah. That's wrong. And that's ignorant thinking. What I'm saying is for like what I believe. Don't take. Yeah, well, yeah. Because Do you think they'll be okay with me using it again? Not for that one, but I don't <laughs> believe. Yeah, it's just the fact that 
to, to, to the last last thing. It's just because they are. They, this is what they've been talking. about. When are they going to talk about the Aladdin trailer? <laughs> we did that already. Oh man. Yeah, we can we can we can move on though too because we, we've been we've been talking about this for a bit. I just think that we're. I think we're essentially. I don't all, think anybody should be able to believe anything. Right. That's I think we're all. Point, I really no, do mine. think. That's we're all hashtag saying no the same beliefs. Thing. I have no beliefs in anything. <laughs> right. So. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I, might, I don't even want to go into the chat room right now and, oh, yeah. and say. Don't worry, I've been taking care of it. I'm sure. <laughs> well, because I mean, look, it's, it's it's funny. Work. it was Hashtag. actually really, really cool, right? Yeah. Everything's going. But bring up the Last Jedi, and everybody loses oh. their fucking mind. <laughs> Is that the that was Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> That's the, the hot top. That's so it's funny. So funny. It's just absurd. Yeah, it, that's, well, that's, it was a chat. Hence the space we live in. <laughs> yes. No, uh, I think, yeah, it. it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's such a simple thing to just say. You wish that everybody, like, you know, wish that everybody could just love each other. Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. That, that's 100%. Simple. What I will say is, it and, so and this, much. this goes back to the last thing I'm talking about this too. I do believe that if you look into, this is kind of where I was going with my whole point, is the fact that I, I respect people who believe you know, I was raised Catholic, okay? I don't practice religion uh, anymore at all. Um, and I think I think that, I don't know, it's just, it, it's just a different, it's just, it's, I, it, when you look at all the wars, you look at all the things that have happened in the world, you look at the stem and the problems of a lot of things. It's religious based. It is, and that's where I get, and that's, but that's why I preface this with the start, of that I think that there's a lot of good inside of it. Thou yes. shalt not kill. Pretty good one. All of that. And like you look at there are a lot I know tons of people that str struggled with like addiction and and struggled with uh, like were in a bad place and almost like died, found religion and saved their lives. Sure. I commend stuff like that. Like I love I mean stories like that is it, that's there's so much good in religion, but then you look at it's just there's it's like these rival teams. Mm -hmm. the, these people will never yeah. Because of thousands of years they've yes. been on opposite sides, and going to your point, they're stuck inside of this particular team that the that the, the rules inside of it are, are ludicrous. Yeah, and on the same side here it is too. But it's like, how are these people on both sides of these teams? How are they? How are they dealing with it? How are they? How are they spreading their message? And can they be? Can they have rational conversations? That's kind of where I'm where I'm coming from. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And it's it's not it's not a matter of because I. It, it is ignorant and stupid for people to just. Well, you like that person. Well, then I hate you, and you you and, and you should you should either be killed because that's what that's what happens. Sunni and yeah. Shiite is literally separated by like eight words in the Quran. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, this was this, uh, hashtag. That's the show. Yeah, yeah, let's just keep going. That's where we go. Uh, what I do, I do want I want to get. I want to. We have a, we have a guest today. The the main man, Johnny Laquasto, <laughs> the mouth is here. And we're gonna um, we're gonna talk to Johnny coming in. He, Johnny's gotta follow that Johnny conversation. Johnny is Johnny here. is here. Is is he? Yep. Uh, yeah, well, Johnny. because Johnny's got a new album. That he's, yeah. that he's working on, and we're gonna talk to Johnny. Um, let's. let's you want to just bring him yeah. in right now? Let's give him a seat. Yeah, we'll give him a seat for a little bit. Let Johnny come let's in. Let's do it. Uh, let's have Johnny he's come in. So Johnny, what's up, brother? Come on. Johnny, you're not getting off. You are sitting. No, you are sitting. Sit down. Oh, come on. Uh, Look, throwing the So, what are you trying to do? Ow. Kick me out, Johnny, or what? No, I don't know. Because if Makuga's sitting we'll, in, we'll then. share a mic. Yeah. I want to share a mic with him. Johnny Laquasto is here. Uh, hey. Johnny, you got to follow that conversation. Uh, I heard it was religion and uh, other things. We, we went, we, we yeah. don't even how I don't even know how it got there. We're supposed to start talking about movie news. And we uh, went I was talking about having sex with little, people with of the woman. same sex, and yeah. then we went into gay rights, and then religion. Everyone. Well, everyone so. knows you're waiting for marriage, Roxy. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's that true. is um, definitely true, which is not coming anytime soon. Well, no? <laughs> what was fun is you guys were talking about religion and homosexuality, and I'm looking at the chat roll, and it's nothing but like Star Wars comments. Well, yeah. Because I, I made one reference. To the Last Jedi, and I and I <laughs> about people like, and it's like that. That was it. It's that was incredible. It. I yeah. love. The, uh, wow. Don't mess with that religion. I, yeah. uh, well, there is a there is a religion. Oh yeah, Australia. Yeah, it That's is. A fun. Um, What's it called? What's up, Lacosta? How you doing, bro? I'm good. Thanks for. I hope Makuga comes back and sits on my lap because that that would be the most comfortable thing. He'll probably mm, go not in the 2018, booth. man. Yeah, yeah he'll probably go in. Can't the ask somebody. We just to do talked that about religion. It's against, it's against, against our religion. Oh. You can't do. You can't sit on the on the. That's true. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what's what's going on? What's the latest? What's the greatest? Man, I don't. I'm. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, we got our. What's it, we got a rundown here. Don't worry about the rundown. Okay, that's yeah. good. I won't look at the rundown. <laughs> yeah. It's um, really good though, and Riley does a great job with it. He yeah. does. Yeah. I, he added me to the Google sheet yesterday. I felt so honored. Yeah. 
You know? Well, you got a show coming up, right? Yeah, I'm filming a comedy special. Yeah. Sunday, November 11th at the Brea Improv, where it's like an actual, you know, club, cameras yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. How many shoot? How many cameras? Um, I think six or seven. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm just throwing them all out there. Yeah, you do. He's doing yeah. such a massive thing. I I didn't know what this was, Crazy. like the concept of shooting cameras, something, yeah. and then wow. you were telling me. I mean, this is the most. It, Expensive, like oh, I'm gonna whole die. Whole endeavor yeah. that I've ever heard. So of. what are you doing? I mean, just it's just how long? Is this I'm, set? I'm currently so stressed. I actually have teenage acne right now on my face. <laughs> I don't see it. No, it's because I had to cover it up with powder earlier oh, today. Okay. I had to do something else, and they were like, "Just cover your face, please." I'm like, yeah. "Okay." I just like slapping powder on it. Um, so yeah, the, the way we're gonna do it is the Bray Improv. The new one seats like five fifty okay. with cameras, wow. eh, maybe four seventy five, sure. whatever. Five fifty. So, I know it's the new clubs are just they don't. Is that, hmm. a, a, that's how big clubs are. A yeah. lot of new ones. There's a lot. Yeah. I thought it was like twenty people. No, that's no. a big the Bray Comedy, Improv is huge. Comedy's not intimate anymore. I thought <laughs> it was like these rooms, like this. Right. Yeah. I know. That we would should, be perfect. That would be. A can good we word. borrow a couple of your cameras, by the way? <laughs> Six, you be, that was it. Sixteen cameras. You can fit three people in. Just a handy cam. Yeah. So you got. So how long is the set? Well, the, we're we're gonna have I think four cameras essentially filming different parts of the stage. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have one guy on a steady cam, so he can just kind of roam around. Okay. He also owns a jib. He's got a jib operator. Yeah. Who's gonna do that? Wow. And then I have a friend who actually works right down the street at Black Magic, who's hooking me up with their I version love Black of Black Magic. Uh, oh, right. So great. And they have a uh, 4K GoPro. They're gonna put the GoPro right behind me on stage, so it gets the whole joint. And then we're gonna do uh, a separate black magic just for someone to roam around and get camera of, of the, sure. um, the audience. Three so, minutes, seven minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes. I'm learning about time increments. How yeah. how long is it? Um, I think I want an the hour? whole special to be like no more than an hour because yeah. like I see Netflix specials when they're like seventy five and I'm like. Mm. So you have an yeah. hour of jokes. Here's the thing, Rox. It's gonna be about ten minutes of other stuff besides stand up. Such as. Like, uh, it's gonna be an opening sketch, which I'm filming the rest of it today. You're going old school HBO style with this. Oh yeah, yeah. That's one of the reasons why it's so expensive. Is because I, I want it to be something that 30 years from now I could look back and say, well, not only was I in relatively decent shape then, yeah, but uh, I did something that I was really proud of. So. I wanted yeah. to be in the sketch, but then he kicked me out. I uh, asked her. I said, do you want to be? But I'm filming Riley Roundtable. Well, it's his fault then. Yeah, you could have been. That's like most things. Blame it on Riley. <laughs> Just, <laughs> not to make you, you feel shitty about your show. <laughs> <laughs> Not you went, in the mood. You went Irish on us. It was last minute. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, we got the, the, the location and then the crew was like, oh, I can do it. I was like, well, shit. I'm so who's in the sketch? Who'd you, who'd you replace Roxy with? Um, She is going to be replaced by a 21 year old. Uh, yeah, 21 years If I'm going to be replaced, might as well go younger. Yeah. 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 Well, it, initially, it was my roommate who's a uh, <laughs> professional wrestler. I was oh. going to go way the opposite route. And then I went back around to a girl who could play a great millennial. And oh, so okay. I'm going to do that. There you go. I can be a great millennial. You are a great millennial. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, you have a work ethic. She does. I, yeah. I, I do. don't know if there's a work ethic to be topped. Roxy Stroud. Oh, thanks, man. That's true. Oh, I've um, known her since she was uh, 12. Annoying as fuck, but it works like a horse. <laughs> All right. Huh. I thought you, you, you travel I thought on you a said, plane. I thought you said another word at first. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, they do work hard. <laughs> <laughs> they sweat a lot. Please don't make a shirt with that on I know. it. Oh, um, but so you brave. Are, don't do that. So hashtag, that one we should do. So, yeah. Hashtag sober. Uh, you are going to be doing this. So what's, what was the inspiration? Is the fact, like you said, because you mentioned the Netflix special. And we're in a, an age now where you can literally just find a way to get the cash. Put together the the crew and say, you know what, I'm not going to wait for so and so to knock on the door. I'm just going to do this myself. Is that kind of how it went down? Exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, you look at how many people have either filmed their own thing and got it on Netflix or, or other venues and stuff like that. And it, here's the way it works in comedy now: if you're famous, you can be like Harlan Williams and film a special in the desert, and people will see it. Yeah. If you're not and you expect to sell it, it's got to look pristine for someone to be able to buy it. So that's kind of why so they, you know. if they buy it, they're not reshooting it. It's not like buying a concept. They literally just air what they buy. I have no idea. You, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> but you can shop it. We'll though. Ask that's the them. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, you know, you have, but now you have this thing. You, you shoot this thing. How many? And so how do you? How about selling the tickets? So you're going on. You're promoting it a lot. That's what you've been yeah. doing. Yeah. Free tickets. No, it's free tickets. Oh, it's free tickets. Mm -hmm. That's I, why he's draining so much money. I feel like. It's well, just free tickets. Uh, here's the thing. Ticket sales make everything complicated, yeah. and I want it to be easy as possible. If you show up to one of the two shows, you're gonna get in. And if it's too full in the first one, we're yeah. going to say, hey, come back in an hour for the 9 o'clock show. So, is, are, so you have someone opening? 500 people? Wow. Do you have someone yeah. opening? Or is it just you, you're just going up 
Yeah, we're going to have a host do like 10. Okay. And then basically, I, I'm filming the opening sketch. I plan on having it done and showing on and their showing LED it. screen. Because sure, sure. it leads to me going out. And then I'm going to have someone do 15 after me for like the check spot. Okay. Do so, we know who that person is yet? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Grant Cotter definitely confirmed to do one of them. Okay. And I haven't figured out the rest. All right. So, yeah, and, he, and you have a pretty good relationship with the improv because you've been doing shows there for a while. Mm-hmm. And that's just and that was the first place to go. So improv. And give me the dates again. Uh, Sunday, November 11th, uh, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. at okay. the Brea Improv, which is like kind of Orange County. It's off the 57. So they just show up. They just show up or they or they can get tickets. It's free. Hit me so, up on social or, media. That's yeah. it. I why mean, do I have you a do link. It twice? Why, why is that a thing that people do? Two shows, you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would assume for two reasons. I assume, A, to just to get, you could get, were you going to film both of them? Oh, yeah. Well, that, there's your answer right there. Because, like, let's let's say, cut it together. Mm-hmm. Wear the same outfit. Try not to sweat yep. too much. And uh, whatever you don't like about the first one, you try to fix it. Yep. And also for me, the, the 9 o'clock show, I have a really weird ending planned that I don't want to do on the 7 o'clock just in case it, it's a disaster. Yeah. So you're going to not do it first, then you're going to do it. Yeah. Huh. And you know the other thing I love a lot, Roxy? It's going to involve some weirdness when it comes to that profession. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, cool, man. Congratulations. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. That's, I mean, that's that's what I love to see when people are really pushing and saying, you know what, f this. I'm gonna do it myself. And that's a that's a pretty elaborate thing, man. So, guys, go out there and and support Johnny. Um, we have a this like I said, it's a free show. And yeah, yeah, and I have a link where you could sign up in 30 seconds and you can show up. And there you go. I'd be honored to have any. Fans, it's out there. crazy because I've known you now, shit, probably ten Dude. years. Ten How did you guys meet? More than that, comedy, same thing, stand up comedy. Like I used everybody to... fucking meets in comedy. He did stand up. No, yeah, yeah, he was hilarious. I watched. He has a YouTube oh, video. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like last night. It was funny you said it. she literally watched like my one of my sets that I did at the Improv. Like it was like a twenty minute set. She watched it last night. Man, we were talking yeah. about it before. Yeah, Amazing. but um, but I yeah, must so... have caught you on your bad nights. Then. You did. <laughs> you did. Yeah, it's true. But we met. But we met. Room at, five. We met at room five at yeah. the comedy store. I mean, we just we would just shoot the shit a bunch, and then we I just s- still remember a bit you did. I think it was a bit about like what happens if someone broke into your house late at night. Yeah, with the samurai. Yeah, story. yeah. the samurai story. It was in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that was that was, that. Well, that came from me working at at Alcon, and I would just fuck around on eBay. And I was looking for swords. And I was supposed to be working. What's like, Alcon? Alcon Entertainment's where ultimately oh. Dagnino was working for a oh, long time, oh. but I was working there. And they did they did Blade Runner yeah, 24. Yeah. They've done tons of shit. Um, and I would do my downtime. Well, downtime when I'm supposed to be working, I'd be looking for shit, and I <laughs> bought a samurai sword. I'm like, sure. That to me is a lot more effective when somebody walks in than a yeah bullshit knife or even a gun. It's like that dude's fucking crazy. Anybody can have a gun. Yeah, so you got a samurai sword. But then it's funny after I came to that bed, I started seeing people. Literally, like real stories about guy attacks robber with a samurai sword. Like people used to send it to me all the time. Like that's Stealing amazing. your bit. Yeah, that's true. But you um, think they saw it and then they got it? Yeah, it's effective. I know it's effective, but uh, yeah, but that's yeah, how I met Johnny, you, yeah, Napsock, and Ellis. I think all are around the same In time. The circuit, yeah, like 2007 around that time. I guess from 2008 maybe. And I forget. I think it was like one of the first movie reviews you guys ever did. It was your old one bedroom apartment off La Brea. Is that correct? That was that was. Well, we, Ellis lived off of La Brea. Okay, we You're, filmed there. Yeah, because it, that was it. Wasn't my place. My place was on like La Cienega by the by the mall. Is that where it was? Was your place the place in Grasping at Straws? No, that, that was yours? yeah. The, that was this guy uh, Mike Piter who directed it. Actually, the 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 place where I showed up with the dog and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was the the director at the time. Mm, but, okay, um, it was a handy cam. It was an animated film. I forget. It was like Cinderella or whatever came out in like two thousand seven yeah. or eight. Okay, it was one of the earliest. Schmoes knows reviews. Yeah, and we it, Johnny used to do those with us, and then yeah, because he was used to for a while. do the reviews. Yeah, we sometimes. Well, we started we started doing the reviews on on current TV, which is Al Gore's old network, and that's where we started before it was just a Harloff and Ellis show, right? And, and that's when global warming started too. That was it. And we would go back and we'd hire comedians on for that version. I don't know if you did that, and we we were like Samo, Steve Samoa and our buddy mm-hmm. used to used to do it. Um, Brett Ernst, Sebastian Maniscalco, and then. We took it to YouTube and we said, let's just continue that format on. And we'd have a comedian do it with us. And Johnny, and that's how we met Makuga. Mm-hmm. And, and we were doing that. And we eventually just said, no more people. Let's just do the two of us. But Johnny was one of our regular guests that we had for a while. Yeah. And then Makuga and I became blood brothers. 
This is crazy. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Sebastian. That's a real, yeah. that's crazy? No, we, we didn't do the wrist No, thing. no, no. Just, just the fact that everybody just became really close friends uh, like throughout yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> no, Josh and I did the wrist thing like in, right. was that Stand By Me? I forget. Yeah, they did do something like that in and Stand then, By Me. And then isn't that yeah. what Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton, but they drank, <laughs> drank each other's blood and wore it around each other's neck yeah. or some yeah. shit? Yeah, yeah. They had little vials. Yeah. Yummy, yeah. yummy. Yeah. That is vile. Josh and I are a cuter couple. Yeah. Speaking of Sebastian. He just sold out like four shows at MSG. Dude, he's on fire. It's in. I mean, he oh, deserves it. I Every s- bit of it. I ran into him at the comedy store. I'm talking about Sebastian Maniscalco. I don't know that is. You would love him. He's. I don't know who a mm, single comedian is. He's really. He's, he's like the Sinatra of comedy now. He's really, really funny. And he, I mean, I started, I still can't find, I, I have a poster that I was going to put up here. It's it's me, Brett Ernst, and Sebastian, where we went up, uh, we did. We used to do the Saboba Casino. Casino together, Damn. and um, and anyway, so Sebastian is just. I've been watching, I've been friends with him for a long time. But when when I went to, I saw him at Mitzi Shores when she passed. We this whole thing, and he's just he's just crushing right mm-hmm. now, man. He is. He, you knew back in the day he was that funny though, or yeah, no? you could. T- I mean, you so, guys can always tell. Well, so when I was when I was at the comedy store, he was still. He started as a doorman at the comedy store, and he was working. He, and then he was he was there all the time. He was. Very dedicated dude, and when I when I became a regular at the comedy store, Sebastian was like really kind of getting his feet not, not wet. He was starting to really make a name for himself, and and then he was just going up, going up, going up, and starting to get the heat. You know, people were start. You could just tell us he had us. Took he, a long time though. It took a long time. Yeah, because yeah, he, he used to take his style was always so unique. Yeah, it was unlike any other comics, and like the you comedy guys pull store. Pull him up, when I maybe I know who he is. Yeah, you might. Do you, you watch you watch comedians in cars? Don't you love it? Yeah, he was on with was with Seinfeld. He did a whole episode. What, which season? Who's Seinfeld? I don't know. Yeah, bring, <laughs> bring up bring up Sebastian Maniscalco. Is he a comedian? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, know, I'll know who he is. Then. Is the monitor dead? All right. Yeah. Yeah, he just uh, he you'll, you'll know or just when right uh, if we this is but yeah he would like work at a restaurant and then on his break would rustle oh, like yeah. go to the comedy store and yeah, then go yeah, back yeah yeah is this the guy you showed me the one time yeah. Christian oh my God. he's hysterical he I, I used to I, I, my, he, just a couple of his jokes that he, mm. his Chipotle joke is the best but when he was do, he was he used to talk about uh what is it now when you go to the Starbucks and people go in and they order the frappuccino with the cream on top. You get a black coffee and you go to work. Yeah, it's, like, it's just like this is the way it, it's it's his presentation. And it's every it's like the Ross dress for less stuff. You, you've been to Ross dress for less. Yeah. Oh he's yeah. Like, this isn't is, my size. Yeah, he's, he's like, what do you go, when you go to Ross dress for less? Everything's on the floor. He's like, how are people shopping? Nah, this is my size. <laughs> Throwing it. He's he's very animated. He's just he's great. What's crazy is he looks like the kind of guy that would hate act outs. That would and then all of a sudden what's act out? Like act out meaning like he'll just animated. do something what crazy. You did. Yeah, he's super animated. He's very animated. But if you look at him or you talk to him, you'd be like, oh, this guy right. never moves. Right. And that's what's crazy. He looks about like a him. stool comedian. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he does these what's amazing act comedian? outs. That's a, someone Somebody who's sitting on a stool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are uh, you making fun yes. of me? I know. No, no, not even you. Not at all. Not at all. Never. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is. Who's the bully now? Your, your, your hair matches your shirt. You know that? I, I did. I did. Okay. Now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, we, yeah, we talked about we was, we had, we, Did that really do? We had, and I thought about this too when we have guests on. Should we, we should send them the link? So they can listen live. It's the same thing. Heidi and Frank do the same thing. You, you listen to the, you listen to the show just so you know what's going on in the beginning of it. Because it's on us as hosts to say like, "Hey, we're gonna be talking about." This. Not that you needed to know that we talked about our hair, but like, um, even like if he didn't know, we, we just walked into that. You know, yeah. prepared for that. Yeah. You know, like the guy is like, you, you, yeah, you're opening. Know. Yeah, it's like you're opening for you go. It's like I gotta follow that, and, and of course, John and Quasi. Oh, I it. it's religion and war and and homosexuality. It's a like top. I know. And it's Star fine. Wars. It's true. And st- well, you know, that's the hard time. The, the hot hard topic one. was Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's true. Um, that's the show. But yeah, have you been, because you're a movie guy, you've been checking out anything recently? You've seen anything? Or you're just too fucking slammed right Dude, now. Dude, I'm so behind on things. Yeah. That's, why I, that's why I like managing and, and doing commentary on Schmodown. I right. would get murdered if I did movie trivia because my brain... Well, you did it once for the the, what's it called? I got two Free questions. For Free, for Free for all. And I got two questions right. I survived one round. I was shocked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was, was really proud. Yeah. I wanted you to compete. You can uh, compete one round. And Free for all this year, you can do one year. I don't know an answer. You don't know an answer? I don't know an answer. Who directed Whiplash? Um... Okay, well, then he also just did the first man movie, yeah, and then he name? also did uh, the third one that he did that I love. So that's more than I Wait, know. Wait, hold on. La La Land. 
La La Land, Damien Chazelle. Yeah. I don't know, but be, duh, buzzer. Hey, you got that. What? It's not buzzer. You have 15 seconds. You got to repeat the question. Oh, God. There's yeah. certain categories I'd be okay if there was like yeah. a weird Al And I know category. that like the back of my hand, but when something is trivia, yeah. I can't do it. Sorry, like, Weird Al. UHF. Weird Al, Dolomite, no. um, Dolomite, Big Lebowski. Like those categories, I would I'd be okay. Oh, are those your favorites? Lebowski. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dol- Dol- Dolomite is hysterical. The first, <laughs> God, they, I'm sure, have they made a remake? D- Dol- Eddie Murphy. They're filming it right. They just oh, got done really? filming. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Cannot wait. Really? I'm 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 worried about that because well, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can I recreate that. It's it's not going to be a story. It's going to be the, a kind of a biopic. It's going to be oh, the story okay. of the making of Dolomite because uh, Rudy Ray Moore did it all on his own money. That's one of the reasons why you see so many terrible yeah. shots. Oh, so it's going to be more like like disaster artist type. In a way, it's going to be Eddie Murphy playing Dolomite, playing Rudy Ray Moore, mm. wanting to make Dolomite. So it's almost like the making of it that leads into the film itself, yeah. I think. All right. Can we also talk about how you phrased it, biopic, and I've been saying biopic, and is, I don't know it, which it, one it is. It's biopic, but Shit. a lot of people say bio, biopic. Everybody's been saying biopic, and, I, and I was wondering, am I the loser, or no. is Johnny? No, it's, it's me. Who's many, the loser many people do it, but it's, it's, it's biopic. Biopic. Ah, it's really yeah. fun to say but, biopic. Yeah, a lot of people say biopic. Yeah, it's not, it's you know it's not right, but it's still b- whatever. It's, wow, this still, thing is it's still so accepted. good, Christian. Oh, look at your fidget spinner. It's so good. It's so three years ago. Is this your first one? <laughs> it's not mine. It. Oh, okay. No, it's Beardo's. Your Beardo's. He brought it just for me. I'm only getting back that back, Beardo. No I love way. it. And then yeah. meanwhile, her and I, Jesus, are, you know we're coming up on our four year anniversary. This is crazy. From on DC from movie the now. started by Christian Harlow panel, yeah. 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 which is nuts. So is Gertler? Gertler's not on the show anymore. Is he still? Mike Gertler, Johnny, myself. Mike's the only one I didn't put on that show. Right, but we you knew, we knew Which, him yeah, from knew. you, though. Yeah. I've known him. I've known him since school. But like, that's that's so funny. Um, yeah. yeah, the four of you guys still doing it's the pretty show. Pretty wild. The four yeah. of us ever being there at the same time are now about three times a year. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's why it's great. Yeah, yeah. we well, also just cast. yeah, we just love it. That's good. I mean, you guys been doing it for a bit, and, and it's, it's so challenging because DC does not make our job easy. Let me tell you. <sighs> right. Not well, always. I mean, let's hope Aquaman does it. Yeah. Aquaman's got a shot. I think but Aquaman's But that's what cool. we felt that way going into Wonder Woman. We were like, oh, our show's going to change now. Oh, oh, I see what you're the saying. The tone is changing now. We're able to talk about some great stuff. And then, wah, wah. Well, what came out after that? Was it Justice, Justice League? League? It was Justice League. I liked it. I liked yeah. it, too. You liked Justice League also? I liked it fine. Okay. I didn't love it, but I did like yeah, it Yeah, I didn't mind it. I just, it, I, it had tons. You could tell, you could see all the problems. There, was, there was issues for yeah. both shows. For sure. Well, you know, it's it's not a well-received movie when all everyone wants to talk about is how Josh Whedon's name also said, I tried, at the same time in the opening <laughs> credits. Right. We're like, oh, come yeah, on, true. Um, The other thing with Johnny is that Johnny's a big guy, a big wrestling guy. And yeah. Did you watch very? Did you watch any of uh, SmackDown? I saw only the beginning of it. How awkward time. was that? Was it good or no? No. So I mean, they, they, they had a lot of good moments. So even even if you're not a wrestling fan, you'll appreciate how ridiculous this is. So it's started. Garbage people. No, it started out. It started. And it started out with the McMahon's coming out. I saw that. All the McMahon's. And they start doing this wacky dance. <laughs> Inside of it, that was something out of a bad Saturday Night Live sketch. Like they were doing, like there was like this interview. Like, oh, well, dance now, break! Like now it's time for dance break, and it felt like a Saturday Night Live sketch. It was so awkward and weird. People was it, it a choreographed dance or a free it, a free dance? People it, love when McMahon was doing it. No, they no, love they it love, when our truth it does. It worked when our truth did it. Yeah, I'm talking about last night when McMahon and Stephanie McMahon, who's got. You know, white wedding, uh, white people wedding dance sure. going on, and pointing it's like, around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was. Can it we was, pull it up? Yeah, I, it. yeah. See if you can pull up. Just go to just go to clips of. Uh, it's so awkward, but the rest of it is was was fine. There's some cool moments. What did you think of what you saw? Um, I know Batista is maybe trying to set up a match with Triple H, which yeah. I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, they're doing a lot of that nostalgia stuff. What years recently. did you write for him? Just 2001. Was it before SmackDown? Because that no, it was, it, it was, it was yeah it was during SmackDown. Ninety nine is when it was going yeah, on. So were SmackDown. you? I was. There, I, my first show was a SmackDown. Yeah, my I, when when I made my appearance with The Rock on camera was on, on a SmackDown. Yeah, <laughs> is that Amazing. a real thing that happened? Have you not seen that? No. Yeah, just put put The Rock meets Christian Harloff on there. Is they, this they, the they gullible? Just, they, just, they just put wrestling. Were on Were you there. like fresh out of college at the time or something? Yeah, pretty much. Damn. Yeah, uh, that's so. If you that's there you go. There it is. Yeah, just bring just bring that up. Just turn the music up. For this it, video it's, is it's it's Dave Lagana has a great one too with McMahon. Yeah, this is uh Yeah, you start from Such a damn man. There you go, Roxy. Yeah. <laughs> look at me, I'm like uh, look. Nice hair. Hey okay, no. What a young kid. I look know. at him. Sweet hair, yeah. can say. <laughs> the rock is even, the rock is half of the yeah, rock size. I told this story too. Um he was 
And after he, after this, they're down the hall. Oh, right. Appreciate it. I messed up the first take. We did it too. Really? I'll tell you something. Yeah. The Rock. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the thing with that, so I was, Shut I'll tell you how, fuck I'll up. tell you how that happened. So I was, I was writing a couple things. Shane McMahon comes over to me. He's like, you want to be in a, do you want to be in a, a, a thing with the rock? And I'm, and I was kidding with him. And I go like, like do I, would I get my sad card? And he's like, no, you wouldn't get your sad card. I go, I'm, I'm joking. Of course I want to do it. And so, you know, he's just like, just be like intimidated when he comes down the hallway. And, and so we did it once and he walks in and he, and he's like, and I'd never been on camera for them, you know? So he walks up and he's like. You can tell me where the uh, where the where the APA office is, and I go there down the hall, and the Rock goes there down the hall, or it's down the hall, and I'm like, Oof. <laughs> so, and I, and I go, eh, eh. and then well, we, for some reason we had to redo that take, and that's the one we got, but he he never introduced himself and said, "Are you new here?" Like that was never he just improv that, right? Yeah, and I was like, so I remember it as a fan going, "Well, that's cool." Well, Shane Helms has an amazing story about back when they had a feud. Yeah, Shane said that uh, they kept going through rehearsals and the Rock kept messing up. And Shane was like, halfway through, I realized The Rock is messing up on purpose. That's because WWE wanted to pre-tape it. The Rock wanted the segment to go live yeah. so they can go as – because he was trying to get Shane over as the Hurricane. So Ro The Rock knew if they went live, that segment could go as long as they wanted right. and no one could do shit about it. And he's like, I owe The Rock to this day because that segment got me so over yep. and it went way long. He was always like that and he was always very generous with it because he's a, because you can tell he's a, he's a constant entertainer and he knows – But and I've told this story a million times. I'll just tell the the abbreviated version of it is that because of that bit, and I ran into him at a party, I think a year or two years later at a UTA party, and they were, and, and I went up to him, it was his party, and this guy's like, oh, you know, you used to work with Christian, and he's like, he's like, really, when? And I told him, and we sat there for just talking forever. Jesus. Forever about about it, and then he, we talked about that that scene, and at the end of the night, I see him again, and he's like, hey, man, it was great talking to you. I was like, it's good talking to you. He said, what was your name again? I go, Christian goes, uh-uh. <laughs> and I was like, ah, you son of a bitch, you did it to me twice. And, and I still, I, you know, that was the last time I saw him. And that was probably like 2000, 2003. Mm. I was supposed to go interview him for Jumanji, but it was like, I think it was like during, it was like during a holiday. So I couldn't go. Roka went. And then I was supposed to go for, um, what was the other one? That, oh, uh, Baywatch. Baywatch. And I couldn't go for that one. So, and Roka was able to go twice. And Roka was like his idol. So he got a chance to go. But that's, next one I'm going because I got to tell you. Baywatch too, man. They watch too. That one's not happening. Jumanji okay. too will definitely happen. <laughs> you but got to. You got to have the Jumanji. reunion, man. Jumanji. I know. I, I want to have that conversation with him. Do you think he'll so. remember? No, probably not. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, but the but he'll the thing with him is he's got a good memory in that. Like we start telling the story, he's done you know billions of those bits. Mm -hmm. But like, if we had the conversation, we we're able to watch that clip again. Of I course. mean, I do it. I would have him on one on one. I would talk to him for three hours. Yeah, he's the best. He's the best. And what I mentioned earlier about my late show that I'm doing on my special, it's going to be. A little pro wrestling inspired. That's cool for the late show. Yeah, that's what I was talking. That's about. That's why you work so well with the Schmodown stuff too, because you got it. Like they, the stuff that you did with Mark, uh, Hoyk, and Whitney was brilliant. It was neat. Well, oh, it was their, I, it was their really idea funny. was the whole uh, you know puzzle box and everything. And then funny. I said, all right, let's do this. How about you know I come in, we stand up, you don't say a word, you just boom, and then we leave. It was good. And those, I, I like Mark Hoyk is a is a is a treasure. He's a unique. He's so individual. unique. I love that dude. He's so unique from Beat the Geeks. But um, but listen, man, it was a pleasure having you in here today. Thank you. Um, give me those dates again and where they can get the tickets. Uh, Sunday, November 11th at the Brea Improv, 7 p.m., 9 p.m. I'm posting. I have a link where you could sign up for tickets easy. Hit me up on social media at Jay Quasto. Free tickets. It'll be a, a cheap night out, and it'll be the biggest night of my life. And hopefully I don't go broke. I'd be happy to see you there. Well, there you go, guys. Johnny LaQuasto. Make sure to check out that show. And then, you know, tweet some pictures and stuff from it. And uh, we'll feature it here on the show from uh, from Johnny's show. I think I'm going to be there it. myself, so Good. I'll try to take some for That'd you. Oh, cool. my God. Yeah. If you go, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to try really hard. Okay. okay. Be awesome. All right, guys. So make sure you do that. When we get back after the break, there are a lot of movies still coming out in 2018. There are a lot that we're excited about. And we're going to talk about it when we get back. Hello there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? 
it's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself. We have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they're, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an extra expert panel of guests, including John Rocha, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show, and then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us, so subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk, and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day, and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time, and we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week, I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video.
Guess we're back here. It is Collider Live. It is yeah. Wednesday. It is the last show of the week. Brett Sheridan is here. Josh McCuga has hit the table once again. Roxy Stryer. Hello. Mark Riley. And thank you once again to Johnny LaQuasto for joining us today. Um, we have a lot of movies that are coming out in uh, 2018 still. We, there's all of October really much that is there's pretty much left. Not all of it, but... October 19th, we got Halloween coming out. I know everybody's excited about that one, but there's a ton of movies coming out in November and December. A bunch of movies that we are looking forward to see that we just kind of want to shoot the shit about. It's not necessarily really a fall movie preview because we really missed out on a couple already if we were to cover them, but the first man <laughs> things too. But I think just there's stuff that we wanted to cover and, and just say, like, you know, they, I saw a trailer last night of one that we're going to talk about for a while, and I just am so excited for this movie. And we'll get into oh, Johnny it English bit. Strikes Again? No. Vice. Uh, Creed 2. No. Uh, uh. Yeah, Creed was Creed 2. Yes, yeah. so, but we'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, oh, man. There was that. But the other thing I have to say is, and I'm only going to do talk about this once until they decide they're going to give us a sponsorship. Okay. Um, I got that AMC pass thing. You did. And I'll tell you why I love it already. I haven't even used it for a movie yet. <laughs> I'm going to use it for... Um, Star is Born when I finally see the damn thing, mm -hmm. right? Still. I still haven't seen it. Wow. But when I see it, I'm going to use that pass, and it'll probably cost me like $14, $15 to get a ticket normally, right? But now with this pass, you get three movies in a week. You can see a whole bunch of movies, whatever, the adult, 20 bucks, like 19 bucks for the whole. But that's not why I love it. Last night I went to a screening at, at, a, at an AMC. Candy. But I, I had to get something to eat. Right, because I was starving. I get on the line. We the, know what happens when you don't eat. Listen, I'm almost there right now. And the line started because I didn't get my stupid eggs. I forgot to mm. buy the fucking eggs. But uh, anyway, there's a line that starts and it's wrapped around the corner. But to the left is this little special line that they have. And I'm like, ah. and I always look at that stupid special line. And I'm like, I wish I was part of that special line. I'm like, wait a minute. I bring up the thing on my app. And I was Lark. like, and I walk through it and I go, does this work for this? And he's like, yeah, you're good. I was like, Perfect. Right this well, way, well spent. Mr. Harlan. That was it. Man. Well spent because you know it's like TSA that. pre check. That was it. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. so great. I love that for 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 that alone. You know what I was thinking about the whole time you were telling that story? Nothing. Where is Creed <laughs> two on this list? Uh September uh, November twenty first. Is it on there? Yeah. Where is it? I don't see it. You got cut it's off. on mine. It's, is it it's on not this on list? It's on mine. What yes. Yeah, so oh, there's a back. There is a back. There Roxy. Is a back. I never checked the back. I, didn't, I know what? I didn't check the back either. So let's get into... This microphone smells like donuts, and now I'm very hungry. Like, I this I microphone love the always smell smells so nasty. I think donuts is better for... Because she's, she's got plaque, I think, on that yeah, thing. It's yeah, it's gross. I don't know what that is. And, it's I don't gross. Know. and this one is... Uh, it smells fine. <laughs> All right. So we've got... Um, October 12th, like I said, Bad Times at El Royale is the, is the one we talked about for a bit. First Man, obviously, even though it, it, it kind of ate it at the box office. I'm going to go see First Man tomorrow. Beautiful Shit. Boy. Beautiful so boy. worth your time. Yeah. This is an excellent movie. Really? I hear I, I more was... positive than I hear negative. So tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's a movie that has to – is Timothy Chalamet yep. and Steve oh, Carell. Guy. and. Why? You don't like Timothy no, Chalamet? No, every time Timothy Chalamet is in a movie, everybody's like, oh my God. All right, well, it is should, the greatest movie ever. He should, win, he should win the Oscar. Win it. He should win How the Oscar. How can you have seen all the performances? Yeah, okay. Have that's you that's seen that's Johnny that's that's Strikes that's Again? No, that's very yeah. true. Have you seen it? It's very true. <laughs> as of, as of as this a, point, right. he should win the Oscar for From this. everything you've seen From thus far, he's the winner. From what I have seen thus far, he should win. He is... His nuanced performance is, uh, it's so not over the top, yeah. and there are so many layers to it, and when you're playing somebody with addiction, that's very challenging to do. How's Mark Riley in the movie? I'm sorry, Steve Carell. How's Steve, it? You mean Lou Santini? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that he did a good job. Uh, I think he was probably the weakest, though. Okay. But I thought he did a good and enough job. More attorney. And I tried really is also hard. on it too, right? Is yeah. mother? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, it was really, really good. I feel good. bad for Sad. yelling about Timothy Chalamet, but it's the whole, <laughs> I, like he seems like a nice guy, but every time he touches right. a movie, you're jealous. Every, yeah. Sure. I feel that way kind of about Bella Thorne. I'm confused. Wait, well, there's a difference. Wait, what? I mean, a total Bella difference. Thorne. Everything Bella Thorne well, touches you're, you're turns to poop. You're confused about Timothy Chalamet's success, and I'm confused he just about Bella Thorne. No, not confused. He just doesn't like it. No. Okay. Well, that, yeah. uh, no, I'm just like every time the dude touches a movie, it's sort of like you know Daniel Day Lewis in the movie. It's gonna be perfect. It's, it's funny that you Timothy said that. Chalamet well, is like. It's funny that you say that though, because really, the, it's because about a boy. Chalamet. Not about a boy. Uh, what's it called? Boy. No, no, no. What was the one that he did? Uh, Call me by your name. Call me by your name. Call me by your name. And then the other one that he was in. Um, 
the, what was the one? Lady, Lady Bird. Bird. Lady Bird. I got it right before you told me. Well done, um, Lady Bird. I had it. I knew it. <laughs> but those two movies, and because he was... They were both great movies. They were both great movies, and he was great in both. Yeah. But he really hasn't been in a ton of stuff. No, but this it was is his best of, performance by really, far. Better than uh, Coleman Barney. Yeah. I thought he, he was really good in that He was amazing in that. In this, I, I couldn't... Talk about you don't like to overuse cringeworthy. It was cringeworthy to watch. You the way he does it, it's so good, and you just want to watch it through your eyes. It was hard to watch. Oh, it's so yeah. it's right. so hard to watch. All right, so that that one is something that I'm looking forward to the screener. I'm sure we'll get one for that. Yeah. Um, the oath Halloween. not worth your time this weekend. The oath. Yeah, I hear mixed things. I know Snyder liked it a I lot. Know. I thought that it was so I know. weak. It's so weird though because I'm I've been on the opposite sides of Snyder before in his taste. I've been opposite sides of you mm-hmm. before in taste, but I've also been on both your sides. So it's a I don't comedy, know who, right? Yeah, uh, I th- you thought it wasn't. He said it wasn't. I walked out going, I didn't laugh at all. He goes, you weren't supposed to. So I thought it was supposed to be a comedy. If it wasn't, I'm Barrett confused. Moment, for yeah. Sake. Yeah. And exactly. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. Halloween we talked about. That's October 9th. You, you want to watch our review on Halloween? Just watch yesterday's episode. You see so the hate good. you give yet? Uh, I have not. It was unbelievable. Is it great? Oh, so good really? too. So and good. And that comes out this week. Maybe I'll use my my AMC pass. So I'll go see that. It was really really strong, and I've only heard good things. That's about two Spectrum. plugs AMC, but and it sponsors this fucking show. Yeah. yeah. Which and which is crazy because uh, there's a local fisherman who's chopping a movie called The Bait You Give. It's pretty good. But I'm ch- I- Sean Maroney. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, wow. Come I on, I gotta give you a couple it's Sean Maronis. Come on, so come on. Sean Maroney. Was- Incredible. One of the ones I'm looking forward to most, though, on the state is mid '90s, which is Jonah Hill's movie. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Somebody saw that recently. But so. I, every time this trailer comes on, and they're you playing it. it before every, it's just the vibe of it is so. What happened? It's like the bait '90s. You, <laughs> you so like the bait you get? It's just right. bait you get. You got Riley. It's your audience. It's random. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. tell random jokes when you come up with it. You should just walk by Riley and whisper in his ear. Yeah. So because he, he's, he's not in that, the he's got that miserable stare at the computer. He just starts laughing uncontrollably, and then this goes back to that dead stare yep. um, <laughs> alright let's go to October 26th um, <laughs> you know John, Gal Gadot I, you, at her house they, you, they call it Galloween instead of uh, Sean Maroney <laughs> come on uh, Johnny. Roxy's feeling it baby that <laughs> one <laughs> Do you really that one didn't work for me. No, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not gonna lie. Two pitches off. It. All right, my Johnny bad. English strikes again. You really care about this movie? I, I'll tell you what. There isn't a movie <laughs> on this list that I'm more confused as how it got made than Johnny English yeah. strikes oh, again. Look at the box office. I'll probably tell you how it gets made. How does it? How does it do in the what UK? What was the Johnny English first one? They did like twelve of these. Yeah, there's things. like fifty oh. Johnny English. This is the yeah. third one. People love bad. the Rowan Atkinson. Like, they really do. He's I mean, been he's doing these movies forever. No, no, no. no what no, no, are Johnny English movies at the box office? They're bringing them up right now. Let's see. So, yeah, John English, 28 mil. How much is that piss box? Co- and piss look at that one. 8 million. Gross. 8 million. Who's making it? How did they get Rowan, the third one off of that drop? It was only Rowan three. Atkinson. I feel like there's been 12. How much did the English were born cost to make? 45 million. Oh, my God. And it made eight, well, who makes another one? Goodness. No, that's, well, no, no, no. Look, worldwide, it made 160. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, well, there you go. Domestic, well, that's the difference. That, there's your big, your big. Yeah, so I'm looking, well, it's I open, forget that movie is opening in England before it's opening here. Right, and and I looked at it when I'm thinking domestic, I'm thinking domestic for the UK. Yeah, and I see eight million, but it's like, of course it made eight million here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it yeah. made one sixty. There's your, there's your answer. That's why they're making another one. Gotcha. Um, now we go to so staying in the twenty sixth. The one that I'm very curious about that I hear. It is either you're going to really enjoy it or you're going to hate it because it's you're going to understand it's a great film. But you're just not going to like it. Suspiria? Like Suspiria. I, I hear the remake is is. I skipped is my screening yesterday because Perry told me that you leave with an icky feeling. Yeah. And I didn't feel like having an icky feeling yesterday, to be perfectly frank. Yeah, well, that's that's what I hear. I hear. So when I ran into hmm. McQueenie. And it's long. It's yeah. like two and a half, 240 or something. Okay. Which is yeah, really was, long. Uh, that's a lot of money. You know, I talked to McQueenie, and he was saying that, um, he was saying that the movie itself – is very ballsy. It takes a chance. It's different. Um, and that's why I think he really enjoyed it. But I don't know. I'm curious about it. Uh, Snyder, you're not Snyder. Sheridan, you got anything on here that you're looking at? That I'm you're... trying, boss. You got it. Bohemian, <laughs> Bohemian, Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go. I'm so excited about that. November 
Uh, number two is Bohemian Rhapsody. I can't Did wait. Rhapsody That's, already saw that one? Right? No, I she saw, saw 40 first minutes, 40 minutes of it, yeah. but uh, uh, not oh. first 40. Oh, not the first I saw 40, 40, 40 random, random minutes 40. of the movie. I wouldn't refuse to see that. I, I was not, they didn't tell us that was happening. Oh, wow. oh. And uh, I was not happy about it. Why would they do that? Well, I think it's because you already know the story, so it's not really spoiler territory. Yeah. And they wanted to make sure that they showed us that it was gay enough. And I don't oh. know if that's actually what happened behind the scenes, Did but I, I feel like they. <laughs> Because all of them, kind of, because I feel like all of I had 30 gay teachers. There was a lot of friends. negative they were all in the press movie. about this that from what we'd seen from the trailers that they don't depict him as being the sexual gay man that he was. And so they really focused they on that, that in the was. 40 minutes. But wasn't that okay. the thing with him, though, too, is that he really didn't come out and the, the gay community wasn't so, you know, like he, he didn't. He wasn't openly gay, and so he wasn't like a big proponent of, you know, like he was. I don't know enough about it. I don't think that's the case, actually. No. Or from from the way that they portray the movie. The um, what's it called? Embargo's not up yet, so I can't give specifics. But that isn't what I gathered. Okay. From From the movie or from his real life? From the movie. Oh, I was just saying, in real life, I don't think he was. He was. I mean, the the weird champions kind of came out after the fact and stuff, and I don't think he was a a spokesperson. This is something I heard while I may be mixing this with something else, but he wasn't. They, you know, he didn't come out and really embrace it, and you know, and because it wasn't. It was a different time for people to. Uh, girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. It was, so there you go. So it was a different. It was a different time. So. Um, so that's what I was wondering I, if they are touching on that at all. I hear or great was... things about this movie. Yeah. I hear great things about this film, and I think this is the one that Star is Born has to look over its shoulder about. I don't think so because from what I'm hearing about yeah. it, people are walking out with, and I don't know how based off what I saw. I I loved what I saw, but people are saying it was it was fun. It really? was really fun. So from, it was. Perry yeah, we can't, freaked out for it. Yeah, we can't. I, and I can't, and again, I don't want to break embargo for, for them. Yeah, but yeah. I hear positive things from the people that I heard, but I, I'm not, I've talked to four people that I saw it. So. About I'm really excited. Yeah. We're, going yeah. on, we're going Monday, right? Are you going Monday? Yeah, I'm going yeah. Monday. Cool. So that's on, uh, that's November 2nd is when that comes out. The Nutcracker and yeah. the Four Realms. I got the screening for that, but it lands on my damn anniversary. So I can't, uh. I can't take, I want to take my daughter to see it. But I do want to see that because I've never, like, you, you don't give a shit. No, do you guys like the Do you think that's going to do well? It does. It, um, it looks. What's it gonna it's going to be like. It's it's weird that it comes out in November because <laughs> if it came out in December, I think it'd be like one of those Christmas movies. Be like, let's get the kids and have a play date. We'll go yeah. to Bravo Bistro and then we'll go to Nutcracker. Right. I think it's because Christmas like is so stacked. Yeah. Disney. Come on, kids, we're yeah. going to the Nutcracker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that seems like I, a lovely time. I want to go to this. Yeah, I think it could be. I think it could be a surprise hit. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it didn't do great. But I yeah. I I'd li- I'm rooting for it. I'm rooting for it's it. It's a musical, right? The, yeah. The no, one ab- not really. I don't think so. Yeah. The movie above that, Nobody's Fool, that's What's the that? Tiffany Haddish one, I think. That oh, is right, right. I saw, the, I saw the billboard for that recently. Yeah. Looks she, like it could be good. she got short hair in it? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Um, it's a Tyler Perry movie. Mm-hmm. Is it? D okay. is not in it. No. Uh, November 6th, The Front Runner. I don't know which one that is yet. That's, uh, which one's that? uh, Hugh Jackman as uh, Gary Hart oh. running against Bush. Oh, that's uh, cool. And it looks cool. Great. All right. It looks really good. All right. So there's that Hugh one. Hugh Jackman. Hugh yeah. Jackman. Oh, interesting that that's coming out there, and then the uh, and Vice is coming well, look out. Where it's like coming like out. A, yeah. Right Vice? around Bowden time. When's Vice coming? Vice is not until December. Oh, okay. Well, look. So November 9th, though. Um, there's some stuff coming out. There's a little more of the commercial stuff. Oh, the yeah. the girl in the spiders will have a new dragon tattoo story. I'm I'm looking forward to this one. You are. Yeah, I'm yeah. Trying to. You're trying to. I'm trying to look forward to yeah, it. Was Fincher's not doing this one. Yeah. This is who's doing this really one? Fetty Alvarez. Like Fetty Alvarez. Oh, Alvarez. Damn it, you yeah. beat me. All right, Fetty uh, Alvarez I'm, is doing. I'm all in. Fetty Alvarez is one of the best directors working. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a Fetty Wap guy. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going to maroon you on that one. I'm not going to maroon you? Nah, that's a good one. No, I'm not going to maroon you on that one. I like that, yeah. Um, that was good. Didn't we, land with me. Fetty Wap. Sorry, yeah. Fetty Wap. You're, you're one for two. <laughs> I, think, I think that if you get the majority of the people in the room, then it's not maroon Like, if enough yeah. people, yeah. Yeah, you know, if, if it just, if it's, if, if you tell the joke and you hear this, <laughs> yeah, then yeah, it's maroon. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, I do want to, we should try to pull that clip, though, uh, for a sound bite. If, it's, if it works, Beardo, for it. Sean Maroney! <laughs> Sean Ken, Ken Napsock. Sean yeah. Maroney. Um, all right, so then that is The Girl in the, Sp- the Spider's Web comes out November 9th. And then for the kids is Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. Which I Not saw, just for the kids, for the people. Which I saw last night. How was it? Can I t- talk about it? Oh, embargo. man. But blink if it was good. I can't talk about when it. When's the last Barry is in it? Surely um, you just. He hasn't blinked yet. I'm not she wrote. I, I, don't, I don't blink at all. Oh, no. Never, don't blink if it's good. <laughs> ah. No, I can't. I can't say anything yet. Man. So The Grinch comes out on November 9th. It is 
What I will say is this: this makes sense that they did because if you look at like the Lorax, Horton Hears a Who, they've done these Seuss movies and they've never done the Grinch. They've done the Ron Howard Jim version, Carey obviously. Was. Yeah, that was, but they haven't done it in the in the style of this animation. And those movies, from my opinion, have worked. And I think that it's about time they do one for the Grinch. That's all I'll say right now. Um, I just saw a bus drive by and it said it was like a no Grinch bus. bus. No, it was a Grinch oh. bus. It was you know painted with the Grinch. And it said, if you if you pick your low, nose long enough, you'll get that booger. And I was like, I don't know what that has to do with the movie, but it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's good oh, advice. That, I thought you were making a joke. This is a no, real it's a real bus. Oh. Yeah. It's a real My one. goal though is to start real Grinch bus. Yeah. My goal is to start getting in the chat room to start hearing jokes in the in, from us and then saying, Sean Maroney. Sean Maroney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel like Sean is an S H or an S E A? No, S H A W S. Yeah, that's how it's right. Sean. He's Sean Maroney. Yeah. Yeah. I told Ellis last night that that's what we were doing. People about jokes he loved them yeah um okay so then november 16th we talked about this a little bit yesterday oh, but we're skipping what, are we skipping you're oh. gonna skip overlord overlord is uh that. hell yeah overlord overlord is the uh is bad that? robot produced nazi himself. zombies I have heard, hard R. i've heard mixed R. reviews from people who saw this at, yeah, uh, people saw this at the screener um at the sorry yeah, at the screen. festivals or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I I heard great things until I started hearing not as great things. Okay, oh, they're still great things. Yeah, and What's, I love the you trailer. Nothing but good. What's a Rotten Tomato score on it? Because oh. if it's festival, they probably brought it up. Um, Overlord, I'll tell you what, I didn't love the trailer for it, but then I actually heard way more positive than I heard negative. Um, I think Eric Davis over at Fandango gave it a good ninety-three oh, percent. Wow. Yeah. Fourteen reviews though. It's only fourteen yeah. reviews. But oh, still, Wyatt Russell's in it too. That's uh, Kurt Russell's kid. Okay. He's great. I'm Kurt He's good Russell's in uh, Black Mirror. Um, yeah. I'm going now. It was a weird... He did the show on AMC that just wrapped called Lodge 49, which is very weird. Okay. I did not get it. Lodge 49? I haven't it's, even heard of it. It was like, okay. How oh. can I be this TV person right who still after, has shows I haven't heard of? right after Breaking uh, just Better Call Saul. Thousands of things on television. Is it a truffle, a truffle Pumpers no, thing? No, it's a real thing. Lodge truffle 49. Shuffle. Wyatt Russell. What's a Truffle somebody Pumper? Else. It's, it's a, a show, show on the Audience oh. Network. I know truffle butters, but no, I don't know truffle, truffle pumper. Truffle pumper. Truffle pumper. No, it takes it's place about in the, the truffle 1800s. wars of the late 1800s with oh. Prince Gavin of oh. the late regime. All right. yeah. um, Luxembourg versus Liechtenstein. Well, so so you guys are freaking Definitely. out and over about Overlord out there because uh, you uh, cops are you're a big J.J. Abrams guy, right? Yeah, I like J.J. Oh, okay, Who's easy, Brian. Who's yeah, that was, Brian. Who do you think? That was Brian. Right. Yeah, booing like to I can uh, see Brian that's going to J.J. Abrams' house and booing him for no reason. Probably. I don't think Brian. Do you like any of his movies? They're okay. No, I, I think we saw the trailer for the for this before the nun, yes, right? Yes. Yes. I was really excited until it got all zombie right. and bullshit. That's how, that's how I felt too. I was like, I was like, oh, this looks like a great World War II movie. Yeah, and then yeah. they introduced this. And I'm, Fuck off. Right. But if, <laughs> uh, Speaking of zombies, yeah. if anybody's still watching The Walking Dead, I am. It's I now am. a romantic comedy. I am. Yeah. Wa- I am watching it as well. Yeah, it's what? the worst. Um, oh man. All right. Let's, I, I love let's, it. Let's move on. You do. Yeah. So let's get to huh. let's get to November 16th now because it looks like Overlord. Some people want to see it. The rest of us will wait to hear what the other people think. November 16th, Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Now, I also heard. and um, Fool me once. So, Alex, is there embargo from what you said? Um, up. I don't think I can talk about it. All right, Alex saw it. <gasps> Alex, just go full JTE and break the embargo. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't. We can't say whether we liked it or not. But Alex Knock saw on it. the wall once if you liked it. Yeah, but what I will tell Wait. you. What I would tell you is what I'm hoping that happens in this movie, even though I told you yesterday I really liked the first one, and I'm one yeah. of the few I think that really enjoyed it a lot. Um, that what I think of I the do like that impression you do. I'm going to be honest with you. Who are you? He's I'm Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. That's your Eddie Redmayne? Have you seen Spot Fantastic on. Beasts? Yes. Spot um, on. And it put the animals in my little wow. contraption. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Redmayne yeah, is in the studio. Guys. <laughs> actually had Eddie Redmayne on. Um, I but, but I think they're going to link this one way more to the Harry Potter franchise than even the first one did. We got some references in the trailer yes. that would make me believe that as well. I think so. I think it's going to feel. I think that they realized that. I think David Yates and I think J.K. Rowling understood that it felt a little bit more, and I, which I agree with, even though I really liked it. It felt a little bit more detached. It's almost like a really separate thing that just happens to have. You know w- the wizard world as where this one will actually link in and be involved with the other stuff that you know. Yep. Um, does anybody else care about this movie? Yeah, I care I d- about. It. I care 
Enough. Yeah, yeah bro. no, I definitely I liked that. I liked I the first one as well. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see it. I, a, I did like the first one. You take the kids to see it, bro? Yeah, yeah. Nice. My son and I were watched the Potters. I yeah. hope you enjoyed this. Did yeah. you watch the first one? Yeah, yeah. Did you I like it? it? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. A lot of buzz around Widows too. I'm here. Yes, I mean, the, oh. the, the uh, cast is incredible. Love the cast. And uh, Steve McQueen's incredible. It's like a female be. Heat, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking. It's and it's. I think really Viola Davis is the one. That um, I mean, look at this. Well, then you go to Colin Farrell, Brian Tyree Henry from Atlanta, who's awesome. Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out. Then Carrie Coon, who's like Colin Farrell's in that movie. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'm looking at Widows. He's got oh, a whole thing. Yeah, uh, we have a sheet that has all oh, the actors. Man. Yeah, well, I have That's, 90 more printouts over here. Yes. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. That was for my purpose, yeah. so oh. I could know. Oh, there you that's go. good. I like, right. I like being educated. Well, I like that we're doing it now. Yeah. On the air. <laughs> I've had him over here the whole time. I said, it's nice. You know what? You have Robert to call. You have Liam Neeson. The pink tops were in my little. They were in my little. Um, Hashtag that's the show. All right, we got Fantastic Beasts. We got Crimes Girl. We talked about that. Widows. We talked about Um, Instant Family. What is it? You don't even know what that is? No you have idea. no idea. Oh, Instant Family. I do not know what that is. That's Mark Wahlberg. Rose um, Byrne. I was supposed to see it tonight, but I probably won't be able to do oh, that. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, Tig. Yeah. Tig's in there. Oh, hey, hey, Mark. Yeah, so uh, that one is something I'm going to look more into is another screening because I can't make it tonight. Um, but November 21st, out of all the ones that I really want to see, this to me is my pick for all the movies that we have out that I cannot live without. And that's Creed too. Yeah. I think I feel the exact same way. The poster when we went to the movie the other night. Holy well, what did we see the other night at the Arclight? Oh, Halloween. Yeah. And there's that picture. We've seen the poster before of him on his knees, just kind of with his with his hands up, and it looks so good in the movie. That theater. trailer too. I mm. I've watched. Oh. I've watched so it good. like twenty times. They yeah. showed another trailer, a what? TV spot, TV spot last uh. night. I don't know what I was watching with my wife, and it was a TV spot for it. And you know that shot when um, Sloan's like. That's the same thing your father said to me when I die right yeah. here in my arms. But they flash back to the Rocky IV clip. <sighs> During the TV spot? During the TV wow. spot. And as he says it, you see Creed in his arms. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> that is I'm awesome. so about this. I can't, this movie, I mean. You ever think James Brown blames himself? I think James Brown's dead. I know, but do, b- back then, but, they oh. were like, do you think everybody was like, it was my fault Creed died. It was too oh, much. In the movie? Yeah. yeah. Uh, too much dancing up top. I, you know, I don't, I don't think so. I think James okay. Brown left right after the performance. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a great performance, too. Fantastic. But here's the question for everybody for your performance. at the table in the booth. So Creed, the first one, did something that no one thought it would do, and it got, it got an Oscar nomination for Sylvester Stallone. Mm-hmm. Any chance in hell that anybody gets nominated for this movie? Yes. You think so? Who? Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? No chance in hell, as they would say. You don't think? Man. I think that Stallone might get it. No, no, I'm not saying the movie. I'm uh, saying Dolph Lundgren. I yeah, think no. that's still, that's possible. I think Michael might. Yeah, he, I think he's got the best shot if they if they got it if they get a really good performance out of him, which he always does. But it depends on how it's written. We, we will see. But we'll you're see. saying any shot? Yeah, there's a shot you for think, sure. Riley, is there a shot? Holy that, crap! The I, side one spin. What next level is this? Oh my God! You're like a cat wow. with a laser pointer. Yeah, <laughs> my hands aren't big enough. <laughs> yeah, the side ones aren't very. Sean sure. Maroney, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. All right. You want me to, yeah, I was just really excited. I had gotten a little sick of the middle one. All right, uh, I, I, I don't think. I'm need that listen, back. I'm a little worried about Sylvester Stallone writing this thing. Putting in all the references to Rocky Four, it looks great. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but that's you where I worry. Win. That's where I worry about the Oscar he, noms. He if Rocky anything, Balboa, I like Rocky Balboa. If anything, I think Michael B has a a, a, a big shot. But other than that, I don't know. He wrote the first Rocky. I think the Stallone death scene is what's going to make it. So if he, but we if don't he, have yeah. Coogler writing it. He, yeah, I know. He's Coogler, Coogler did set. I mean, look, I talked to Co- really I was talking set, to Cody. Set it up. I was talking to Cody and cops yesterday, but or whenever it was when we see Halloween about. Creed, they were excited. I think they were walking with me when I saw the poster, and I asked Cody, I was like, "Do you uh, did you like Creed?" And he said, "It's my favorite Rocky movie." Mm-hmm. And and I think, huh. well, I think there are a lot of new people that are introduced to the Rocky franchise that way. It doesn't hit for all. And Copster is not a big fan of the Rocky movies. I I love them. Not a big fan. I, like doesn't that, like it, them. Or no, just... I, I, well, well, he's in there. So. Well, yeah, I, I just didn't grow up on them as right. much as ever. Like, my dad is a huge Rocky fan, and uh, you know, I just I never cling to him. But it, it was when I, I I started doing schmoes, and JT gave me all the movies, and I watched them all. I like Rocky Three a lot. I like that one a lot. But you know, I just don't cling to him. But yeah, Creed's the best out of all. Thunderlips. Of them. Yeah, I mean, so wow. I mean, look at look at the last name on the list here. Milo Ventimiglia reprising his role from Rocky Balboa. Is, as he, in, is son. he in there? That's what it says right there. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's so Nielsen. funny you say that. Because last night, last night, because my, my wife is a 
This is us. Like uh, last night's episode was incredible. I, I have I have not watched she, it. Oh god! Sorry. She I don't think she watched it either. So she is. It's, it's the war episode, right? It's, yeah, yeah. It's all so, Vietnam. So she is. My wife is loves the show. And like last night, I was like, oh, yeah, he played. That's his, hey, it's look, it's Rocky's son. She's like, what? And I was like, yeah, he played Rocky's son and Rocky Balboa. She's like, he did. Yeah. It's like, she's like, I'll watch that. I go because of that movie. And I'm like, I try to get you to watch that thing <laughs> so many times, and then finally she'll watch. But she just doesn't do good well with with boxing violence. Other violence in movies she can do well with, but actually people punching, uh, punching. each other in the face, she doesn't do well with it. I try. We watch like the first. Like it's like she's watching an actual fight. This this is how my marriage works, right? I'm like, hey, babe, I want to go see Stars Born. Everybody's talking about it. Sounds awesome. She's like, I don't know. Gaga and like acting. And then a day later, she goes, hey, Kayla said that she loved right. Stars Born. Let's go. I was like, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah your, your, opinion mean, your opinion means shit. Nothing. Yeah, Fuck I, I, Kayla. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was Brett. getting into your shit. She had a Brett call Kayla. Oh, another one about Kayla. <laughs> Kayla this. Kayla that. Right? <laughs> yeah, do you live right. in my house? Uh, uh. Well, why did you call Kayla? <laughs> What the, when did you first meet Kayla, bro? Oh, <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> Holding her way into my marriage. I'm having such a hard time with this because she is a very, uh, very talented she actress is, and I love her yeah, work and I'm a, a super fan of her. I hers. love her. Who she is. Really? She's right. sticking her nose into his she's marriage. <laughs> she was the maid of honor in my wedding. Yeah. Oh, 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 of course she was. <laughs> <laughs> Always, oh, always got to just get herself <laughs> in there. <laughs> it's supposed to be Luis, but Kayla's had to get her shit in it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. All right, let's move the on. The favorite. Green Book. Never heard of it. Sign me up. Yeah. It was Green Book. Peter Farrelly. Yeah, I mean, but Viggo Mortensen. Um, uh, help me out, guys. Uh, uh, Marshall Ali. Ali. Yeah, Marshall Ali. Linda Cardellini. She's a, she's also in uh, Hunter Killer. Yeah, well, Linda Cardellini. We're working on trying to get some people in here for, from Green Book. Oh, if I nice. could get uh, Viggo Mortensen here, it'd be Holy pretty moly. great. Um, I'd, want, I'd just ask him and me, just put put the sword in me. Kill me like yeah. Aragon. Dude, that November 21st, by is the that way. Pre- that's a big a one. Good, that, a big that Thanksgiving weekend, that is like that is a big summertime. Look yeah. at, listen to that. Creed 2. I mean, Green Book is for this, you know, smaller audience, but it's it's it'll be excuse me, smaller film. Um, Ralph breaks the internet. Yeah. Wreck It Ralph too. That's gonna destroy Robin Hood. Is that why <laughs> Robin Hood's gonna eat it? Yeah, <laughs> Robin. Why are we doing that? Why what are they, they keep, eating? They keep shit. making <laughs> Robin Hood piles movies of shit, and manure. they keep not doing well. And, yeah. This is a bad. This is a bad time to release this. First of all, second of all, I love Taron Egerton. Love. Think he's awesome. Think he's a great actor, and, and was rooting for him to be Han Solo, right? But this is a poor choice. Yeah. I haven't even heard anything about no. this movie. No, Jimmy no Fox buzz. is wearing like Jordans in one scene of <laughs> Robin Hood. Like, how'd you get those? It looks, it looks not it's good. Time yeah. travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, they're going to see Black Knight. Robin Hood. My Animated contract. Robin Hood. The only Robin Hood. Yeah, the best I, one. Rob, the best Robin one. Hood. Over under. It's for everybody in the booth. <clears throat> over under 21.5 million opening weekend on a movie that costs how much to make? Like one ten, probably twenty one point five. Where I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm gonna because say over, want... but I don't think it goes over twenty five million. You say over twenty five. You, you, Ju- you say over twenty one point five. Over twenty one point five. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm Rossi, saying under. It, look, two hundred million. No, that's, oh, that's no, 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 that's the Ridley Scott shit. one. Holy yeah. shit! Like, uh, first of all, back to the Ridley Scott one. Two hundred million dollars yeah. to make that yeah. shit piece. That movie's pretty cool. Two hundred million dollars though. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, it doesn't 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 that's not good. good. That's not good. Let, let's let's say let's say it costs 150. Let's probably. say it's 130. Let's okay. say it's 130, which is probably a Even low 100. number. Jeez. It's gonna cost more than 100, but let's say Jamie Fox alone probably costs like 15. Yeah. Um, but it'll probably be, let's say 130 million, right? I say under. Yep, 21.5. Absolutely. Okay. That thing is gonna with tank. that weekend. Robin yeah. Creed two and Ralph breaks the internet. Yes, that's, that's, that's that's not even third fiddle. That's like crap. My violin it's, it's, broke. It's gonna eat it. It's Roxy over under. I said under. Already. You said I under. I was the first to say under. Okay, yeah. Brett. And then you all copied me. I don't know. Yeah, under. Yeah, okay. it's the under bad. Boys in the booth. <laughs> it's gonna hit it exactly. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I Cody, think it's just saying? over. I say nineteen point two. Nineteen point two. So Cody's going under. Brian, what about you? Everybody? Under. Everybody under. is everybody going? Alex? Do you, going does 12. anybody have okay, so then, Alex at, is going twelve? Alright, you sarcastic fucks. Any of you guys <laughs> in there think that this movie will be good? 
It doesn't look good. No. Does anybody want to see? Is anybody excited about this? No. One? That's the problem. No. Not my Alex Robin Hood. Is, Alex is. He saw I it already. Am, I am for Terry. You Hager saw it. Wait, That's did all. you see it, Alex? No, I did not see oh, it. Oh, I'm excited. Alex. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for Terry Egerton. You are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Alex picked Terry Egerton, the guy, huh? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Creed 2. Creed 2 is, wins that weekend. Now, yes. Question, what did Creed 2 I don't know. Do I think Ralph Breaks the Internet wins no, the weekend. Ralph oh, Breaks yes. The uh, for, I mean, as far as... Yeah. Yes, uh, 100%. But as far as movies... As far Things as, that you want to see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I, well, Creed I want to see I want to see Ralph. I mean, I'm probably take, I'll take the, the daughter to see that one, but I think If you that, get a plus one to Creed 2, can I be your plus one? You ask first. Thanks. Yeah. You ask Damn first. it. Um, yeah, you ask first. So get to... Let's go to... Um, Would you take me to ass oh, screening? <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> I mean, it's only been three oh, years since are, I've been are, doing this. But... Oh, okay. The Blu-ray code's not enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Every uh, Blu-ray code, code I literally get uh, goes to you. Uh, uh, right. Wait, you, uh, Brett gets the Blu-ray codes? No. Well, um, I reviewed so, those for years. Yeah, you don't review them anymore. But I know. tweeted okay. out a link, so that's why Creed I got them. cost thirty-five million the first one to make, and it made one hundred nine domestic opening weekend. What did it do opening weekend? Where is Such it? Such a come. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine Six. million. Oh, it, it, this will. This is going to do over twenty-nine. Yeah, definitely. Forty-five. I was going to go 40. Yeah. That's pretty low for their opening weekend, for uh, what I would have guessed. How much did it cost? I, the second? How much the second one cost? I think make? Ralph is going to take a lot of that box office. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. And I, but it's this going to be word of mouth. Still, they don't the give me the budget on this one either. Do you guys ever go see a movie on Thanksgiving Day? Have you ever done that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love Definitely. that. That's super fun. I think I did Casino Royale for did that you? one did yeah, you? when it came yeah. out. I, um, Sorry, go ahead. I fly a lot on Thanksgiving Day, and that's the best uh, thing to do on there's Thanksgiving. There's nothing going yeah. on at the airport. It's the best. It's the best. It's the, best. It's the truth. Yeah. Um, oh, it's the best. All right. So I do want to hear from the – let's hear from the crowd. The crowd? Sure. Let's hear from the crowd. Um, the audience in the chat room and on Twitter, hashtag Cloud Alive. Which movies so far that we've been talking about are you looking forward to the most? Is it Wreck-It Ralph? Is it Creed 2? Is it Fantastic Beasts? Is it something else completely? Um, light up the uh, the chat room. Let us know. Riley will be looking at it. Is in Spider-Man the... into the Spider-Verse a animated movie? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And is the Phil Lord movie did you, in it. Did you not and see Venom? No. No. I won't. I won't. Uh, don't wait till that comes November out. November 23rd. What is any... This is all This Two. is all limited stuff, right? November yeah. 30th. Honey in the Head. Which one's that, Riley? Do you know? Uh, I can look. Well, thank you. Uh, oh, you don't know about Honey in the Head? No, do you know about that? No, you know. no Nobody a... knows what that is. Okay. I, sure. I have... it's, it's, a, it's a poo movie. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever poo. heard of Honey in the Head. All right, well, hopefully we hear about it when yeah, it comes Eric out. Roberts. No, Honey Claire Forlani. Claire Forlani coming oh, back. Oh, right. 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 Oh, right. A little green street oh, hooligans. Oh, that's... Small I love Matt Claire. Dylan. So really, there you go. What is this now? So we're getting to November... December 7th, there's a re-release of Schindler's List. Um, yeah. That's coming out. Then it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Love and then it. December fourteenth, Mortal Engines. What a strange. This seems to me like a January or a February release. Right. Mortal that, Engines. That thing. I worry that it's gonna just bomb. It's gonna get hit in the balls by the second week of Creed and the second week of uh, Ralph. Yeah. And if Robin Hood can do anything. Well, and Spider Verse is yeah. going to yeah. just crush it. Yeah, I think so That's too. Is this like a Lego movie? Going out. No, it's it's yeah. an anime. It, actually, the style is really cool. It's Phil Lord and uh, and or Chris Miller who okay. did um, the, the Lego movie, Twenty One Jump Street. Jump Street. Right, right, right. Well, nah, they don't really get credit for that. Last one. Man on Earth. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they they uh, the, it's what's the guy's name from uh, the New Girl? The Jake. Jake, Johnson. Jake, Jake Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. I think he plays he plays old old Peter Parker. Yeah. Yeah. Miles Morales is the kid from Dope, I think. Oh, Brian Tyree Henry. I think no, so. No, no, that's not who. Oh, Shamik Moore. Yes, yeah. that's yes. exactly yeah. who and it he's is. He's from Dope, right? Yeah. Yes. And um, Haley Steinfeld. Oh, I don't know if he's. I, know her. I don't know I, if that's who it is. I loved I loved this trailer so far. I, the only thing I didn't like about it when I saw it at Venom was I just thought it was a cheap it was a cheap way to get people like, telling everybody this is this scene at the end for Venom besides the first one. They go, mm. well, check out. There's two scenes. That's what they were telling me. There's two scenes. I was like, and I knew from what you said. I was like, it's not two scenes. It's the Spider Verse thing. Yeah. But I had already seen a lot of it from Comic Con. Yeah. It looks great. It looks great. Is it and Nicholas Cage? It does Wait, look that's great. Not it. That's, is Nicholas, Nicholas Cage. Cage yeah, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, he Cage plays a uh, noir Spider Man. Nicholas Cage's wow. second animated superhero appearance of this year. He was also in uh, Teen Titans. Wow. Yeah. Go to the movies. Which you loved, right? Yeah. Oh, it was really great. That movie. I missed that one. Um, it was really good. And then you watch yeah. that with your daughter. She'll love that. Who? Uh, how about Cody? You you were in this movie. Do you like? Do you, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm looking forward to this. The trailer's awesome. Who? Yeah. Anybody super excited about it? I'm gonna see this. I know trailer. Dorian's. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty excited yeah. about this because I think it's gonna be dope. Yeah. If I was wondering, shit, are we able to mic break bread up quick to uh, have him go Dorian? talk? Well, I want to talk to Dorian about it. He's seen it. 
Yeah, he's got a mic in his hand. Well, yeah, yeah but I don't know if he's going to be able to hear us. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Girl. Appreciate that. All right. We got, uh, we Brett, got it. Tell Brett, him to come over Brett, here. Brett, go over there. I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Kara. Um, <laughs> yeah, everybody's blowing up in the chat about Kayla. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she messed with her. He's not lying. The so the, uh, one, of our, one of our sheets says that Vice is on the 14th oh, Dorian's also, not here. and one of them says it's on the 25th. Oh, he's not? He's right, not around. Forget it. You can sit there, Mark. i, I got to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to The Mule. I, 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 Which one's that? That's the Clint Eastwood movie. Where he plays the the old man judge. Is he directing it? No. Bradley yes. Cooper. Bradley what? Who? Bradley Cooper's in it. Clint oh, was directing, directing it. it. And no, he's no, the no. mule. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. That, it, the, the trailer is fantastic. It's awesome. All right. So Mortal yeah. Legends, we think is is going to be a disappointment. The mule, everyone's excited about. What's... Is Vice the fourteenth or is Vice the twenty fifth? Because this says two... the fourteenth. Well, here it says fourteenth. Here maybe, it says twenty. Maybe it's limited. I think it's because yeah. that's what I'm stoked on. Vice? Really? Yeah. Oh my god! I still that have trailer, trailer. looks so good. I didn't watch the trailer. I thought so. You didn't like the trailer? It was fine. Why? Right. What's wrong? I, like I don't it. know. I mean, it's just like another. It's. It feels like that movie W from Oliver oh. Stone. Mm-hmm. Who's directing this one? This is Vice. Adam McKay. Adam McKay. Oh. Yeah. See, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I love Adam that's McKay. That's why I'm going to push back because I think The Big okay. Short was so good. So good. I thought it was pretty good. I loved it, and I want to see them rework. Together, yeah. yeah, because I thought um, Adam McKay brought a lot um, mm-hmm. out of Christian Bale, and which you know Bale's obviously a great director, but it's take great, yeah, great actor, but it, it takes that great director to this really. This is the Dick Cheney, yeah, yes. yes. yeah. So um, I'm the man. What's second act? Which one's that? Oh, I thought uh, it said sister act. I need my uh, sister act three is on. coming I, out next. next I year. don't know. It's saying oh, Jennifer it's Lopez, that, it's, Vanessa Hudgens. It's like I, Made in Manhattan oh, too. Oh no, I've seen that trailer. <laughs> it is fucking yeah, terrible. It's cool. our, boy, our boy Milo's in that one too. Yeah. I just saw that trailer the, the other day, and I, yeah, I it looked like a movie that should have been made in the nineties. Yeah, for sure. Wow, it's brutal. Yeah. Have you seen the trailer for Mm-mm. it? She's like, Ooh. I can be, I'm, I'm qualified, and then they fake her resume, and then the whole movie's about her, like them finding her out. It's like, don't Jennifer, tell mom the babysitter's like dead. This is not a leading star Great anymore. No. So he's, he's, she should be, she should. It's try made to, in Manhattan too. She should try to be doing like what you know, uh, a lot of like what Michael Keaton did for a yes. bit. Yes. Go towards the side and do like side. She's a good actress. Like, yes. Do, go do the I side agree. roles. Hit the. Go to drama. Don't go back to your old yeah. hat here and start doing romantic comedies. Isn't yeah. That, it's. Ugh. I'm with looks you. terrible. It looks bad. Um, Roma. What's Roma about? Who's Rome. that? It's about uh, Roma. Is it Roma? That's a. Oh God. Um, that's the Alfonso Coron. Oh, oh right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. So that and that's one. I so I think that we can talk about that. I think Snyder saw it and was a little disappointed with it. But there are other people who loved it. So um, Alfonso Coron, sign me up. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. Do you care about that one, Rox? No. Are you playing with the fidget? No, I don't care. All right. Uh, December nineteenth, Mary Poppins it does puppets. return. I care about that. I feel yeah. like you want to see this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was one that I said that would be nice. Yeah. I want to see that Mary one. Poppins. Brett, do you like movies? What's that? Do you like movies? It loves movies. Yeah. Did you love them? Yeah, it loves movies. What's I just wrong? don't I don't I don't have the time to follow them study like them. you guys right, do. You right. Yeah, but you do right. like them. Yeah. No, I get one a night. Maybe we get to pick one. We get two. One hour to two hours a night that before we have to go. What did you bed. watch recently? Uh, recently, I've been watching The Voice with my yeah, wife. I watched but, that last night too. It's um, a good movie. Yeah, yeah we watch. Uh, sh- uh, then after that is a little thing we did. Sh- uh, sh- sh- Shit's Creek. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a movie show. Um, what's that? What was the last movie you watched? Last movie we watched. Oh shit! It's been a while. I, I didn't do for, much. I, I went a... straight to bed. The last couple. I got a couple of codes. I got Ant Man and the Wasp for you if you want the code. Oh yeah, we watched uh, Infinity War. Oh, and mm. the first time. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, uh, I fell asleep. I was pretty tired. You didn't finish it. <laughs> but my wife liked it. She did. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Good. Let's I have to on. give that one a rewatch when I'm not. Well, Mary Poppins. I think I would put it in. I'd put it in my top five of the big movies that I'm looking forward yeah. to. Um, but Aquaman. I, Aquaman is up there. Now here's the thing. December 21st is when Aquaman comes out. I Friday. Think, yeah. Dolph again? But here's the thing with, with December 21st. Aquaman had a clear shot to just destroy, right? And then that Bumblebee trailer came mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Bumblebee looks like the new E.T. Ah, Bu- yes. Bumble- My wife got emotional during the Bumblebee. Mm-hmm. Bumblebee looks, really good. looks awesome. It looks yeah. like the Transformers movie I mm-hmm. actually wanted to see that I still have never seen, mm-hmm. uh, minus the, the animated film from I think it's going to go over huge it looks so and good. revitalize the franchise. It looks so good. Here's the thing, though. Here's the big question. If this movie hits and it becomes great, and, and, and because they're going to hit, basically what they're going to do, what everyone wanted to see, is you're going to see all the 1980s Transformers, mm-hmm. what you wanted to see. If it hits... 
do you then get away and say, no, thank you, Mr. Bay. You're never allowed to come back to this thing. Mm. And you just give the franchise to Travis Knight. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's, that seems like the smart play, right? But what if it doesn't I, make as much money? Then, mm. right. then no. I think it's not right. going to make as much money just because of maybe a little bit of fatigue. And, and it comes and out in Michael December. Bay and it comes in. It's against Aquaman and Mary Poppins. That's Here's tough. the thing, too. Yeah. It's just called Bumblebee. Right. Yeah. And people that don't aren't movie buffs like us, they go into the theater like, oh, Bumblebee? Nah. If it was called Transformers, colon, Bumblebee. Yeah. Right. There you go. But the good thing is that it will probably have a really the whichever one has the weaker first will probably have a pretty strong second weekend because the competition there is not too stiff. Holmes yeah. and Watts. That, Holmes that and Watson was the worst was piece of shit trailer. Trying to see I the trailer. Am. Is it terrible? Holy really? Oh my crap. god! I laughed my ass. Is off. it funny, Riley? <laughs> I liked it. Are yeah. you I mean, kidding? I'm not gonna lie. Nonsense. You like it? It's complete nonsense. nonsense. You like it too? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. trailer? Yeah, it's yeah. funny. <laughs> should, we, should we watch the trailer? Just, just, yeah, let's, put it up just there? thinking I don't know, about how, that trailer. How, oh, how long, how long a is the trailer? trailer? All right, put it up. Let's see. Let's, let's see. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I'm on. Awesome. I want to see if I'm on. Uh, Riley, I mean, uh, I, couldn't, Sni- I can't believe Snyder. you said Why do you that. Why you Snyder? Brett, have you seen... Uh, I saw the trailer. No, I laughed. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, all right. Farrell so and say, Riley can do no wrong for I know. me. I Give just, me Step Brothers. I love them so much. I was always bummed they didn't make a Step Brothers 2. This is kind of their Step Brothers. This is right, the see. worst trailer. All right, let's see. We're watching I'm a trailer here. So. Right. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> no laugh back. Let's see. Your Majesty, may I present to you... The greatest detective of all time, Sherlock Holmes. And Dr. John Watson. I love you. (laughs) Watson? Oh! What a looker, right? She is stunning. (laughs) Oh, you guys, stop it. You're fucking with me, right? Wait, let's say, let's say. You're fucking with me. Hold on. Sherlock Holmes. His methods are ingenious. Right there. He's a master of disguise. What have you done with Sherlock? <laughs> Why, Watson? I never left. <laughs> oh, suck my dick. Because his mind is brilliant. Angle of approach. Compensate for warp and floor. Termination of mosquito. Well done, Holmes. Oh, my God! What's in that stuff? <laughs> Are you guys kidding? He's shooting no. a beast. Solve this case in four days or I will kill the queen. <laughs> Signed, Professor James Moriarty. Yes. Come, Watson. We have a killer to catch. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we begin the autopsy? Dr. Grace Hart. A woman doctor? Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> we have a real doctor here. Yeah. Would you like some heroin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ron Strowman. Yes. 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 Oh, no. I can't be on the show anymore. I have two right. days oh. left to live to solve this case. Her Majesty, would you mind if we had a picture together? Watson, who's going to take the photograph? I will take it. You see, <laughs> it's sort of a self-photograph. Oh, He's a real like fan. Like I swear, that. I never do this. Hey, girl. Hey, oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have done without the last pit. The hey girls, that's the best. Pissing the Oh, she's out. Mother of they shouldn't have shown that, but mother of shit. I tell you, Roxy, I'm sorry. I'm in. Uh, what the fuck? I'm in. What the fuck, guys? I'm in. I'm what sorry. The fuck? Uh, shoot, Roxy. Shooting at the it is beast. what it is. I mean, it's like, what, what, yeah, what, do you, what do you expect? Uh, Why'd you hate it so much? She didn't laugh at it at all, No, huh? not oh. one. Then he still pulls out the revolvers for shooting at the beast. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Yeah. A in. woman doctor? <laughs> yeah, want some heroin? <laughs> I'm in. Oh, God. Uh, what are, what are the, right, let's oh, get to, the, let's get to the chat room. What, what's some of the movies I'm looking forward to, and did they like the uh, the Watson Holmes trilogy? <laughs> uh, like, yeah, that, there's, there's some that mixed. fireworks hammer one. There, <laughs> there, there, you know what? No. A lot of people with Roxy. No. Black I'm with Roxy. Roxy. This looks shit. Right. So People are always good. trying to be all holier than now, like put no, Timothy no, Chalamet no. in the movie. It'll be perfect. Holmes and did. Watson, me, right, Brett? Well, here's right. Right. or make me laugh, which Sorry, you Barry. didn't. But, oh, so. I'll show her oh right. damn. Right. What do you got, Riley? Uh, yeah, I, I would say a lot of people are down the middle okay. on our side, on a Roxy side. So right. you know, it's a nice mix. Um, everybody is really excited for the big ones: Aquaman, Bumblebee, Mary Poppins Returns. Um, I've seen a lot of those. Um, Creed two, yeah, Creed two, okay. of course. Uh, yeah, Creed two. You definitely. know how I'm not allowed Suspiria? to look at my phone yeah. during this, but I just did. And oh, Ken Napsok texted me saying, "Step Brothers is one of the worst attempts at comedy ever." Tell Ooh. the world. Oh my wow. God, Ken, come Ken on, 
on. I love you. We have a show together. Ken, 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 if you're watching the show, call in. And we'll we'll talk to you about What's Welcome to Marwin? Marwin. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Robert Zemeckis, Steve Carell. It's the dolls. Yeah, yeah it actually yeah. looks it pretty looks good, and there's posters incredible. everywhere yeah. for it. I will say this. But it's, it's that mixed, like, live action and also uh, stop motion or ah. something, right? Yeah. Well, Ken's, Ken's text, I will say this. I was not the biggest Step Brothers fan. Really? Yeah. Did we just become best friends? What? We're, nice. Mm-hmm. Because of because God, of your Step Brothers is so like it? No, I really liked it actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I, didn't, I I liked it. I just didn't love it the way everybody else loves it. I think that looks funnier. I don't <laughs> I will say that none of them no. I've said like, oh it's amazing. You didn't like Tyler. But for Nights? just kind of a checkout kind of a film Nights. to just kind of have some laughs and maybe laugh at it being stupid too, then I think that's the, the, yeah. that's what they are. I don't think I I would never go like Talladega Nights is the greatest No, no, what I haven't gotten hit by like, like you, in the last 10, 15 years, what? Comedy? Yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd Groovers and Hot Shots. Uh, Big Lebowski, I think, is, is, is pretty damn funny. I just went on uh, Jay Light's podcast on the Comedy Store feed and mm. talked about how I hate the Big Lebowski. What? Do you really? I do not like that. That movie's movie. awesome. Man. It's wow. fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I have to read this whole thing. I, w- I would have replayed that in my head because that's what it really came out. It's like, uh, I went on there and I talked about how I hate it. I do not like it. I really liked it. It's fine. <laughs> what you just said. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You hate it? I don't. I don't oh, like I that love movie. movie. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of whatever. Well, I mean, I think the first Twenty One Jump Street is was really oh, yeah, that's 20, very funny. Twenty Two Jump Street is also pretty good. I like the first Neighbors. Do you guys like Forty Year Old Virgin? Yes. 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 Yeah, very Role right. Model. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Uh, great. Um, what's it? My best? Fr- not my best friend. What's it with? Uh, my best friend's wedding. Well, no, I just watched Paul, Blockers. What's Blockers what's was Blockers great. Great. Yeah, I like Blockers. I haven't seen Paul Rudd and Jason. Siegel. Uh, just recently. Oh, oh I love you, man. No, no, no. Uh, I love, I you, love man. you, man. Yeah, I, I just saw that recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's the last film we that's watched. Okay. Yeah. I love you, man. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah I hadn't some, seen that since. It's really good. Role Model's very underrated. That's yes. my favorite comedy really of the last... After Princess Bride. Oh, no way. No way. Ken is calling Wow, in. our first oh, appearance man. of the 2018 season. Do we have the pit boss on the phone? What the hell are you guys doing over there watching these <laughs> shitty trailers where you're going to be like home making sausages and having eggs in your sweatpants? What's up? Your show's too early. Kenny, how you doing? I'm good. I'm very good. You hear me okay? I can Dr. hear you. gave you some weird number. No, All right. I can hear you. So you don't, uh, like, like, so you don't like Step Brothers? I'm ordering topless mates. No, I hate Step Brothers. And, and, uh, and, and Makuga and I, yeah, we do have a show. We'll debate this on, on our show, Makuga. Because yes. Big Lebowski is the epitome of, of great comedy, uh, a great, silly, smart comedy. And then I love John C. Riley. Uh, Dr. Steve Brule is the best character of all time. When I saw that character pop up, I stopped uh, wanting to be in sketch comedy because <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I love these guys. Step Brothers. Just come on! It's just such a it's it's them after the peak. Ken, yes. what did you think about Catalina the one? what did you think about the trailer? The Holmes and Watson. It's okay. The heroin line's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, think it was funny. Yeah. You started shooting the bees. <laughs> You no. don't shoot bees. That is, That's not the form. Yeah, but let's keep in mind, you're also a guy that shoots squirrels or pays your neighbors to. Like, I don't so shoot I, squirrels. I don't shoot, I don't shoot squirrels. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and, and your six-year-old. Uh, that's true with a water gun. Um, but you know, I don't know if you heard the beginning of the of the show. But we, uh, our new thing now, when uh, someone someone bombs uh, a joke, is uh, is just saying we're going to play the clip of Sean Maroney. <laughs> Sean Maroney. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, absolutely. Yeah, we we uh, we watched a little bit of Grasping at Straws yesterday. But uh, how you doing? Otherwise, you doing well? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm I'm busy working on this this secret project I can't announce to the world yet. So it's taking a lot of my time. Uh, it does mean I have to watch Revenge of the Sith again today. Uh, but it's been fun, and I do watch you guys every morning. A lot of people ask, "Where the hell are you on the show?" Quite frankly, I just don't like getting up and getting to a studio by 10 a.m. Yeah, so maybe fair. one day. Maybe one day. Well, you well, you can you know what you can do. I actually like Grouchy Ken calling in. So if you do it from the comfort of your own house, oh, yeah. let's just do that. That's good. Yeah, cops are supposed to be these weird numbers. I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. but uh, you know, when the show starts about Roxy talking about her lesbian experiences and everything, <laughs> you, you drop your eggs and you tune in. So you guys got to go. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you like that. All right, Kenny. Uh, let's get you on soon, right. and then uh, thanks for calling okay. in, brother. You got it. All right. Later. Bye, Ken. Uh, that was a nice, pleasant little surprise yeah. there. So thank you for sometimes the sometimes phones are a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really just using this. No, we're stuff. fine. It, it blinked at what me and it said like Ken naps off. You just can't help yourself. I know. Just, it's, it's so pointless to why you even have that stupid thing if the other thing's on your lap. 
The whole point was to put it on the but side. But I wasn't Can using that thing the whole time. It, There's also a brand new feature on your on your phone if you've got the recent update that tells you your screen time of how much time you spent on your phone and oh. like different apps and whatnot. Like I currently I'm at two hours and thirty minutes and I've been today? awake for a few hours. Yeah. Jeez. You I gotta don't show update me how to do my that. phone. That, yeah. That's for idiots. Oh. You just your call phone? me an idiot? Yeah, you can't update your phone. Why? No, I didn't say anything, Cobster. Why do you want to update yeah. your I don't, phone? Not you. If you have, well, what, what phone do you have, Cobster? Uh, I got an iPhone. But no, no, what what number? Uh, seven or eight, one of the two. If you have an older phone and you get the update, that's when they start implementing and start killing your battery. Yeah. Apple admitted mm. out loud to doing all this out sketchy loud. shit. They, wow. they admitted it out loud. Well, you have a fidget spinner, so. That's yeah. true. And you're not an idiot, Cobster. Right. I like you a lot. Let's do uh, what I want to do here. So Love that's, you, that's everything Love here. Um, that's everything. Stan and Ollie is another one I really want to see. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that one. But uh, that's all the movies coming out. Before we get the hell out of here today, we haven't had Brett. So we're going to send Brett with the microphone to go talk to Frank. I don't think anybody's in here. And Frank's here. Oh. So let's go Let's yeah, go, go talk, talk to Frank. Frank. <gasps> just, just make sure you get you put on the uh, headphones so you can hear me. And I don't even know if it stretches out to, to Frank's office. Anchorman? Do you guys not like Anchorman? Yeah, I love Anchorman. I, I like all of First them. First thing, I like the second Anchorman. Me too. I'm one of the few. That bus I scene love is so oh, funny. Do you guys like Napoleon Dynamite? No. I, uh, it wasn't for me fan. as much. Whoa, yeah. wait yeah. a second. Sorry. When, when they came, like, you got to see Napoleon Dynamite. All right, so Brett, you out there? Um, I'm getting to Frank. Oh, he's he's in the middle of something. What's or he no, doing? he isn't, or he is. Is this a come in or no? I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, you, oh. <laughs> what did he say? So who sorry, are you? Sorry, who are you? See, he's good. He's All with right. the bits. So I'm shaking got, his hand got, right now. He's got the bits. All he right, looks so like he's working hard. Let's ask Frank some of the questions. Ask Frank first of all if he's been watching any of the show today. Have you been watching any of the show today? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I have not. That's fine. So tell him, tell him we were talking about his love life. We were talking about your love life, and we just kind of wanted to see your take on it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Are you seeing anyone? Is it no, serious? No, let's bail on that, please. I am uh, single and ready to mingle. Nice. Oh, so, uh, single and ready to mingle. Did, and did, any, did any Israeli broads uh, <laughs> strike your... Well, I won't repeat what Bakuga said, but right. uh, <laughs> did you meet any gals when you were on your trip? Uh, no, that was a holy trip. It was a holy uh, trip. All right. Uh, well, I could make a joke there, but I'll skip rights. over that. All right. So, um, well, Frank, the big question on the table that Roxy had was she doesn't. she said she hasn't been able to figure you out yet. Uh, Roxy said she hasn't been able to figure you out yet. Uh, what do you think she means by that? I I got I've said this every time. It's so hard when I like I can't hear what they're saying and I'm like staring. I'm lost in your eyes and it's just like, you know. Tell Frank you uh, love Roxy him. Roxy scares me. If I'm yeah. Brett, I, I scare I, him. You, yes, you scare him. Oh, tell Brett. To Brett ah. Tell Frank. Look at him and say, and say, Frank. I just want to let you know I love you. I just want you to let you know I know I love you, Frank. God, that was t- tough. I've been waiting so long to tell him, and uh, no, it, it finally happened. It. It made you yeah. Do it. So I Roxy scares you. Yeah. Why does Roxy scare me? Go with that line. Why does Roxy like scare you? Because uh, I'm I'm not the most like confrontational. I'm not the best at communicating verbally, and like she gives you that look, like. What are you trying to say? Mm. After we saw Halloween, she was like, what'd you think, Frank? And I tried to say something, and it didn't come out. And she was like, oh, what a glowing review. And then she like, turned away with a little sass. Yeah, that's, that, that's is, that is exactly what happened. Yeah, 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 she just asked me, do you even like movies, Brett? <laughs> I didn't say do you but in the even nicest way, like, she was just yeah, asking. Just said, she like just asked if I like mm-hmm. movies. Yeah. You guys um, are bonding over there over your uh, over your yeah. Your our fear, our of fear of Roxy, the fear of Roxy is, yeah. is deep. Huh. Does Frank like Roxy's hair? What, mm. what would you like oh. to ask Roxy um, if you had a question for Roxy Frank, as to uh, trying yeah, to trying to figure her out? Hmm. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. No, nothing. Um, right. Do you think you guys should get together and have coffee and maybe work this out? I'd be willing. I've been I've been I've been texting with her trying to you know get a report going. We should go to lunch with both of them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah, we could all go have lunch. Would you like? Can, can we mic that up? Can I am we send pretty the, hungry. Can he we send, hungry right now? Can we send the three of you guys together with Beardo to go to have like a? Why don't you just lay an iPhone down and then paying? record the they conversation? They want to send us yeah. to lunch. Or well, not lunch, coffee. It's cheaper. Terrifying. Coffee. Yeah. 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 yeah that's. Oh, hey, welcome to Glider. Frank, yeah, would Frank do that? We're gonna split a coffee, I guess. Yes. All three of us. All right. Tell Ro- Frank. Roxy tell- loves sharing drinks too. So. Uh, oh, yeah. he knows yeah. me. Yeah, he does. Tell That's fr- really sweet. Tell Frank that uh, <laughs> I will greenlight his Johnny Depp show if he uh, goes on the on the lunch. Uh, Christian said he'd greenlight your Johnny Depp show if you uh, went to lunch with us. I heard a, uh, the a fans clap. want it. Let me tell you about my Johnny Depp show. Yeah. We, we, Sound we, off in the comments. Depth talk with Frank. Depth Every talk. week in we depth. cover in a new. In depth. Uh, see now I'm nervous. My like throat. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right, He's setting me go. out. He's right, so setting see, me out. If Snyder, if Snyder's sitting at his desk. What's, hey, hey, what, I'm getting stopped by Jay. 
Hi, hi, everybody. Oh, it's, oh, you guys are live. Oh, yeah, we're live right Jay, now. Get yeah. off the mic. Man on the street in the office. Yeah. yeah. That's say, amazing. Say Jay, they don't trust me on the actual street. But. Say, 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 Jay, pretend you're saying this. And you're saying, say, Jay, I got to ask you a question. Jay, can I ask you a question? Say, do you really hate my face? Do you really hate my face? <laughs> Brett, I love your face. It's good to see you without the facial hair. Oh. So that if, makes it great to see. Ask him if he thinks you smell like a ten-day-old. This orange. way, we're having trouble. It's cutting out. What? Oh. <laughs> what'd you say? Ask him if you. Th- they're if talking he... in my ear. But... Oh well, you just ruined the oh. bit. Forget it. All right. Tell oh, forget give, it. Give Jay a hug. All right. Give him a big hug. All right. Now it's go, not even is, filmed. Is Snyder, this is, is Snyder, it was a very gentle hug. Is Snyder over there? Door gave S- Snyder is over here on his phone. All right, so, oh, no, he's yeah, getting, he's hot getting hot scoops. Oh, right, man, hot it. scoops. All right, come back, he come back. In here. How you doing, hot scoops? Yeah. The yes, first call, the first call to break some to cool me. news in two minutes. Only what's, on Collider. What's the news? Break it here first, you uh, son Can of a you bitch. break it here first? You son of a bitch. No, I can't. I'm under embargo. No. Oh. Man, embargo's... You're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> what is that? I'm in enough trouble. Say, I think you do that yourself. I think you do that to yourself. <laughs> I do, but I mean, you're no help. <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll g- you weren't allowed to wear purple shirts around here. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Am I wearing the purple again? That's the I one almost you wore my purple this, shirt today. I this have six shirts. They're right, from we got, Arizona. All right, we got one Jane's minute company. left. Is Fernandez in the office? Fernandez is, uh, he was earlier. See if he's in his office. Um, oh, no. Say, w- walk in, sit on his couch, and say, Fernandez, let's talk shop. <laughs> Oh, he's in a meeting. No, oh, is he? Who's yeah. he meeting Do it with? Anyways. Who's he meeting with? No, they're, they're, I'm, I'm not getting a look of come in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. Am I all right? right? Oh, I can. I all can. All right, go in there. Say, Fernandez. Oh, look. At, hey, everybody's here. See, it cuts out down here, no, guys. No, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. Say, Fernandez, let's talk shop. Hey, Fernandez, let's talk shop here. What you got for me, big boy? What you got for me? You got any hot tips? Big boy. Big boy. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> I can't. See, I, if I walk over to him, I'm going to lose it. I can it. still hear you. All right. I can still hear you. I'm gone. Yeah, I can still hear you. What? (laughs) I can't. I can't. It's so. It's so bad. Can you really hear me? I can hear you. All right. All right. He's telling me to do my job. I have countless people hitting me up every day to hire you, and you Mm. walk in here unprepared. (laughs) It doesn't really help your cause. See, that's the whole point. I'm so prepared, my breasts hurt. (laughs) That's the point. I'm so prepared, my breasts hurt. Say, say, you're putting the mic in my face, and I have no idea what you want me to say. Say, say whatever comes to your mind. You're the boss. Say whatever comes to your mind. You're the boss. All right, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we did it. Hey, all right, come back in. All right, guys. That, is, that was the best. That's Collider Live. That is the end of the show. That's the fall movie for Johnny LaQuasto. Thank you to Roxy Stryer, Josh McCuga, uh, Mr. Mark Riley, and Brett Sheridan. Whenever he goes, hey, Brett Sheridan, oh, hey, good hey, job. Hey, hey. I, will be, uh, I will be in uh, 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 Essen, Germany at Spiel if okay. you see me out on the floor for any yeah. board yeah, game. Or maybe there. you'll see Danish Christian Harlow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Brett, thank you for joining us again. We'll see you in two weeks when you're back. And to thank you to the crew, to Beardo, Cody, Copster, Alex, and everyone else that I forgot. Mark Ellis, October 26th. Mark Ellis, Los October 26th. Theater. John Roker will probably get that spot now. But we will see you on Monday. Guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hashtag, make sure you download us on Apple Podcasts. Leave a comment, rate, do all that stuff. Keep checking it out. And we will see you on Monday. Peace out, mother us.